Welcome to Cavalier Stadium for a Mammoth Max Showdown as number one Coldwater puts its unbeaten record on the line against third rated New Bremen. Welcome inside Coldwater, Andy Lynch alongside John Zerby as we've got a good one in store for tonight, don't we coach? We got a great game tonight and what's even more important is that Andy Lynch <laughs> is in the WOSN booth tonight. That is and not more important. Yes, it is. This is incredible. I don't know what's bigger. You know, this game between number one and number three right. or having Andy Lynch back. I don't know. What it's, do you think? It's good to be back. I mean, we're going to take a trip <laughs> to Buffalo, my son and I, and enjoy some NFL action. We figured, hey, we're on our way. Ben, you need somebody? And he said, sure, we'll, we'll use you. So I, I don't know anything. We'll start well, with that tonight. I, I highly doubt that. But it is great <laughs> to see your face and to have you back here in Lima Land. We know at uh, all the things you did for us over the years. We appreciate it, and it's awesome to have you back. There's the keys to the game for New Bremen, as prescribed by Coach Chris Schmidt. Make plays, win the special teams, and can anybody slow down Marcel Blassen game? And that's going to be the key tonight because not only is he a great passer, but he's a great runner. And if you look at him statistically, he's he's balanced. And, and you really schematically look at what they do. He is an, a, an integral part of their running game. So it's going to be interesting to see how New Bremen defends him tonight. How about for Coldwater, the keys for the homestanding Cavaliers, all kinds of streaks on the line tonight for Coach Chip Otten's club. Can they prevent those big plays, pick up the blitzes? And, of course, they're always good at special teams. Will they win the kicking game tonight? Well, you know, I think in a game like this, you're going to see two similar teams that have an up-tempo kind of style of an offense. They're going to run the ball. Um, and, and you don't want to see those big plays. Both teams have good defenses. But I think the key could be for both teams the special teams. It's punts. It's, it's, it's field goals, extra points, things like that. I don't think you'll see a big gap in the margin of victory by whoever wins. So those, those little points uh, in the kicking game is going to matter. Both Coldwater and New Bremen won the state championship two years ago, both gunning for a MAC title and then to get back to state once again. It's all coming up next, number three New Bremen and number one Coldwater. Coldwater getting ready to kick off to New Bremen. 7-0 Cavs, 6-1 Cardinals as this one's put up in the air. And here comes New Bremen on the return. Good tackling by Coldwater. will be right around the 22-yard line where the Cardinals' high-powered offense will take the field. Well, and I think the thing that's going to be interesting tonight, we talked about it in the pregame, and is just some of these matchups, you know, on both sides of the ball. It's going to be fun to watch, Andy. Here's our officials, Carl Schlegel, the referee, your umpire, James Epperly, the great Waynesfield Goshen track and field man, linesman Ben Mock, line judge Kevin Mangus, and the back judge John Jacobs, some very familiar names to Northwest Ohio football fans tonight. Great crew tonight for this big game. Saw the commissioner of the MAC earlier, Don Kemper. It's all hands included and slipping down, but no whistle, so he gets it out on the perimeter. The catch by Adam Thiemann, but quickly applying the pressure of the Coldwater Cavaliers. Yes, yeah, Seth Stewart, their outside linebacker for Coldwater, was right there to make a great play. But you know, Andy, I don't. Maybe we'll see it on the replay, but it looked like he was down and. Maybe the knee was down, and the officials were a little slow to make that call. And I know they don't miss anything, the Never. officials. So I, I know that he wasn't down. We'll see it a little bit better here on the replay. but Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. not. I'll tell you what. <laughs> That's our home and insurance instant replay. Instant replay is provided by our friends at Homes Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, members of the Wayne Insurance Group, as looking to pass his home and down the field. What a one-handed grab that time by Thiemann. And he is across midfield for a first down, and the Cardinals are flying. I love the play action pass, going to the corner of the field, and team, and wow, what, a, what an incredible play. Reached up with one hand. That could be a play of the week. Coach Schmidt going with the hurry up offense here, trying to get things moving down the field, rolling out his home, and he's got Teeman again into some open space, and he's across the 40, very close to another New Bremen Cardinal first down. You know, I don't know if Coldwater has prepared for this tempo. I've watched New Bremen a few times this year, and they're typically not an up-tempo team, but in this situation, they really quickly caught another play and kind of surprised the Cavaliers a little bit on that last one. They are two yards short, so it'll be second down and two coming up for New Bremen as they do huddle. And now the standout Mac Offensive Player of the Year in the shotgun. And he will hand off to Schaefer, who takes it inside. Looks like it'll probably be enough for a first down. We'll see where the, the spot comes from the officials. And you know, when you watch both these teams, Andy, you're gonna see a lot of spread formations. Both teams are spread teams, 
but in my opinion, this, it's kind of like a window dressing because they have tight ends, they have H-backs, they have power. So, you know, 20 years ago, this would have been I football, but they're still running the same plays, hmm. just at a spread formation. So it's fun to watch them get after it. Hunter Schaefer, second on the team in rushing, 635 yards to that man, the quarterback who's stopped for no gain coming into the contest with 719 rushing yards, but it'll, oh, he was short of the first down, so that brings up fourth down here, John. Yeah, it, fantastic play by the safety. Blade Busher just came out of nowhere. He read it, flew down the alley, and made a fantastic play on Homan, and now that's gonna put him into a pivotal fourth down situation early in this game. Just past midfield, of course, the cards will go for it. They've got plenty of guys in the backfield. We'll see what Homan does. Puts a man in motion. He'll keep it himself, put his head down, and that good push by the offensive line. We'll see what the officials say, but it looks like it is enough for a first down, and they will indeed roll the line's crew down as we take a look at our Homan insurance instant replay. And, I, and you know, Coldwater, Norm, typically in a four-man front, rolls up two outside linebackers to give them almost a six-man front, but... Uh, Homan there did a nice job of just getting those extra yards. That last little lunge there was just enough to get him a first down. So two Flodix Jewelry first downs on this opening drive for New Bremen as they find themselves just inside the 40 and trying to go up first against Coldwater. Man in motion is teaming. The handoff will go to Schaefer. He eludes one tackle. Look at the little hop over his own man and a nice positive run by Schaefer. I like Schaefer's, uh, what he brings to the table, but I'm looking at his, him statistically, not stats on the field, but he's 5'10", 193. You like those numbers. Those, I like those numbers a lot, Andy. The quick handoff to Schaefer again, looking for some room to run. Good hesitation, and he's within a couple yards of that first down. It'll bring up third and short. Yeah, what a nice play by Jack Ebbing there, the linebacker, to make him, uh, to make him uh, come up a little short of that first down. But, you know, between Holman and Schaefer, you see a, a pretty dynamic duo, and then throwing the ball with Teeman, you're starting to see these new Bremen weapons already uh, making plays on the field. Talking to Coach Chris Schmidt this week, he said, we're, we're an athletic bunch, and we can move the ball, and they're doing that here. A tough pass, knocked away by the Coldwater defender, found himself backpedaling. That was Curtis Durr making a nice play to keep it away from the receiver. Yeah, he was uh, looking for Grant Dickey there on the uh, the uh, up and out route. Uh, nice play call, and now we're in fourth situation. I, I like the play call because it's it's third and short, so they're going to gamble a little bit and, and see if they can get one. But now you're back into that fourth down situation where you're going to have to get a few yards. So here comes the play onto the field. Last fourth down, of course, it was a quarterback keeper for Homan. Stand out in basketball and football is in the shotgun. He'll keep it. Pass over the middle, and it's incomplete. Pass just a little bit high. Did go off the hand of the receiver, and Coldwater will take over on downs. I like the play call. You know, it's it's a little bit of a gamble. He's looking for Dylan Bambauer across the middle. He's six foot one, 180 pounds. So uh, he's a big kid. That uh, nice looking target for the uh, for the Cardinals. But what a nice stop for the Cavaliers, especially early in this game to kind of gain some momentum. So Marcel blasting game will bring this offense out onto the field. Was a two-way two standout for the Cavs previously, and Coach Chip Otten told me this week, it's nice he can get some time off in defense, and I just, we're going to run him, and we're going to run him more. Well, and you can see a lot of their, their game is based upon his running, and if you look at him statistically, he's almost at 1,000 yards rushing and right at 1,000 passing, and that is incredibly tough for a defense to defend. Coldwater will do what the defense gives them early on in the season against the likes of Kenton and Bell Fountain. He was running the football. We'll see a 50-50 pass run split perhaps tonight if all goes according to plan for the Cavs. So second down now and six yards to go. Blasting game. We'll get it out to the outside. Nice catch by Evan Harlemer. And he gets out of bounds right near the sticks. Close to a first down. And I like that call. It's a simple, uh, just a quick hitch. Uh, getting the ball into the receiver's hands and just allowing them to make a play. Sometimes, you know, I like to call that like a long pitch because it's just a short play and gets yards. And what a tough kid Evan Harlemert is. His father, Brian, a longtime baseball coach, passing away uh, earlier this fall. And talking to Chip Otten, a uh, good friend of Harlemert's, of course, part of the staff as well. Uh, he said uh, Evan was away a couple days, and he said, I just got to get back to football. And so he's been out here playing for his dad and a big catch there to start the night for him. Well, and it's, it's awesome to see the community rally. Um, it's an incredibly tough situation, but 
what does it say about a young man who wants to get back to his team and contribute? Uh, says a lot about his family and and uh, what they uh, what they've been through. And you know, everybody I know in this area has been praying for him and hoping for the best. And certainly, certainly the passing of Lou Brunswick this week as well uh, had his services this this week. Heavy hearts in cold water, but talking with. Uh, just a lot of folks here that have rallied around, like you said, John, and it's it's been a tough couple months, but they are together as a community, and they are here tonight supporting their football team as Blasting Game throws it to the outside. Nice catch and diving at that first down marker. Coldwater's close again. What a great grab by A.J. Harlem at that time. Yeah, Blasting Game did a fantastic job of getting his shoulders turned and just kind of laying it in there. And A.J. Harlemer did a nice job of catching the football and then finding the first uh, first down sticks to make sure that uh, they get a new set of downs. A.J. and Braylon are twins, and they are nephews of Brian Harlemer. Three to the bottom of your screen as cold water has been mostly passed here in this opening drive. And they will try a little screen. It is forward, so it is an incomplete pass. Blasting game getting it ahead. The intended receiver that time, Braylon Harlemer. Yeah, I'm a little shocked that they're, you know, Coldwater has been known to throw the ball. I know sure. that. It's not a shock to see them throw the ball. But I guess uh, initially I kind of felt like they were going to try to set the tone up front. But, um, you know, you're going to see that trips formation a lot out of Coldwater. It's kind of their primary formation. And they just have uh, so many good receivers that uh, they can throw the ball to. And it's fun to see those guys get out in space and make plays. Tim Hoyne here tonight walking around and, and greeting folks. Of course, he, he, he was quite the coach for Coldwater <laughs> years and years. <laughs> as well under John Reed. That is a deep ball, and underneath it making the catch inside the five-yard line. What a grab by A.J. Harlemer. I'll tell you, we've seen him early. We do see a flag down, Andy, unfortunately, back at the line of scrimmage, and this looks like it's coming back. It is coming back. The sideline for Coldwater still celebrating, but the Cavaliers, let's take another look on our home and insurance replay as blasting game threw it up there. Harlemer had all kinds of space between him and the defender. Well, he just ran a post route, and he just ran it right by New Bremen safety and got uh, got behind the safety, and Blasting Game just laid it out there perfectly. You'd have to think, although there's a penalty, they're going to come back to that play at some point. And so they will march them back as they walk off the yardage. A 10-yard penalty puts it back around the 35, and so this becomes a very long situation. It'll be second down still. So just try and take a chunk at a time, yeah, right, John? Yeah, yeah, I think you, you, at this point you're not trying to get a first down on this play. You're maybe just trying to get some yards back. You might see a screen, Andy. Not that I'm going to predict any plays <laughs> tonight because I'm normally wrong. But, you know, you might see a screen in this situation. Just like I said, to get that chunk of yards back, hopefully just put yourself in striking position of getting that first down. We are scoreless on our structure outdoor scoreboard. Number three, New Bremen. Taking on top rate at Coldwater. We'll talk about the Cavaliers' schedule the rest of the way because it is a mammoth. Three games ahead for them. Nice little out route and a good pickup as Blade Busher, one of the many seniors who walked tonight on senior night, catches it for a nice game. And that was a perfect call because, like we said, they're not trying to get the first down in one play, but they picked up about 12 there just on an out route. And there was some soft coverage. Uh, on the Bremen trying to keep everybody in front of him, and he ran an out route, blasting game, laid it on there. Busher made a nice catch and, and was able to turn and now put them in position to potentially get a first down. Here on senior night, Jason Hemmelgarn, the principal, said, we have such high participation. Most of our people are out here on the field getting recognized <laughs> that are seniors. <laughs> Here's Blasting Game. He's going to keep it. Eludes one tackler. Now three New Bremen Cardinals around him. It takes five to <laughs> tackle him, and it'll be a fourth and about seven for Coldwater. Well, I think the other quarterback, David Holman, actually made the tackle. Up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can see I, I like this play. This is just kind of the, the fake pass and then a draw, uh, getting Blasting Game some space to run. And then you can see uh, Holman there and a few other uh, white shirts in there making plays. And, uh, you know, uh, this is a good position. I'm a little surprised that we see a pump formation here. Uh, but it's early, and I know that the coaches have to play field position at this point. Punting for Coldwater is Justin Kaup. On the season, 12 punts for 402 yards. Has a long of 53. So he'll try and pin New Bremen back deep in their own end. Two good defenses tangling here tonight. And it'll be a fair catch for the Cardinals. <laughs> Hauling it in is Teeman. And New Bremen 
will take over. And that was a great punt. It really puts uh, uh, New Bremen in a tough spot uh, field position-wise, but if you're Coldwater, you couldn't have asked for a better situation where you have a nice punt pinning them inside the 20. What a beautiful night here in Mercer County. Finally starting to feel a little bit like football weather, John. It's been warm it's, this fall so far. You know, this fall went from 84 to 54, <laughs> uh, and there was no nothing in between, so it is definitely football weather at this point. So Holman set up in the shotgun. He will keep it. Can he get to the outside? A fa fakes a stiff arm, and that gets him a few extra yards in the corner. First down, New Bremen. And you know that play is really all David Holman. And, and not, not, there was good blocking, don't get me wrong, but once he turned the corner, it was just him and about five Coldwater jerseys. And you can see you know, kind of what he does here, uh, getting out on the corner and, and, and stiff arming and, and getting out there and using his speed and his size and his athletic ability. Another lot of jewelry. First down as the Cardinals set up right there at the 25. Can they continue moving? They had a great drive their first time around, stopped on a turnover on downs. Quick out this time to Ben Saylor, and he will pick up about six. And that's a really nice play. If you look at Coldwater schematically, they, they're typically a 4-4 defense, um, and you can kind of see whenever New Bremen has that wing, they're going to roll up that outside linebacker. So sometimes the coverage gets a little soft, and, and it was a nice play. Here's Schaefer. He's got a lane to the outside. Look at the shifty back go out near midfield, and another a lot of jewelry first down for the cards. And that's kind of the threat that David Holman produces because now the eyes are on him and it gives Schaefer this opportunity to kind of slip in there and make a nice gain inside. And you can see him turn and cut and make a great play. That one is knocked down. And so that'll bring up second down for New Bremen. Four first downs on the night for the Cardinals. It's been fun so far. It I mean, these teams, these, these, these guys get after it. Uh, you know, number uh, one versus number three. Uh, an exciting night here in, uh, in Mercer County. And, you know, uh, what an incredible game mm. this, time of, this time of year. It's week eight, Andy. Yeah. In Ohio, we start earlier now, you know. <laughs> That's right. uh, we, we try to be like Indiana and start earlier. Not everybody so. gets in, though, Well, the playoffs. well not, not, not anymore. We're getting close, though. Yes, we are. Team into the outside. He's across midfield and down around the 45. So the clock will continue to wind here as we have 420 left on our structure outdoor scoreboard. Still scoreless, 0-0. Zero to zero. New Bremen already a win over Versailles, last year's state champion. They, will, they lost to Marion Local, another state champion of the MAC from 2021. Coldwater still has to go to Versailles next week. They'll head to whole field, and then they'll conclude the season in a game you can see right here on WOSN with Marion Local coming to town as that keeper is good for a first down. I believe, for Holman. Yeah, and I like uh, New Bremen. They have some wing T concepts built into their spread uh, package. Inevitably, they're going to pull their guards. So you're going to see the fake to the running back, and you're going to see both guards pull. In the wing T, you call it a buck sweep. And quarterback kept it, and both guards are in front, and they're getting really nice yards, especially that first down. Uh, for the Cardinals. Nothing excites John Zerby more than some wing T concepts. Anytime I see guards out there, <laughs> anytime you see big guys running, it's just great. <laughs> a little bit of a more tight formation for the cards. They'll put team in motion. And the give is to Schaefer, and he is stacked up by eight orange helmets. I counted wrong, make it seven. <laughs> that big orange crush defense comes up big there. Well, your eyes are starting to fail you, Andy. I mean, come on now. I didn't know how you – all I seen was a blob of orange. But here you see a little tempo now with New Bremen. They're going to quickly get to the line and try to get off a play. And they do. Holman looking to pass over the middle. Nice catch in traffic. Is that Bombauer that time? Yes. So they went to him on fourth down on their first drive. This time – He's rewarded his home and goes back to him. That's a tough catch, John. It's a tough catch. And the first time they ran that play, they were trying to get a yard, so it was a short pass. That time they're trying to get more yards, so they allowed him to get downfield and create that separation. That's a big first down. Holman seemed more comfortable putting a little zip on it. Absolutely. He'll now run it, design run for the quarterback, cut back by Holman, spins around, give him another five, six yards, and the Cardinals are driving, getting close to that red zone. And this is a really nice play. I think, you know, you're going to see that tempo once again. They're going to quickly get set and try to go and catch Coldwater off guard. Second down and about five. Pump fake. Now he has wide open. And New Bremen is into the end zone for the first time tonight. Hayden Zeller hauls in the touchdown, and the Cardinals go up six to nothing on your structure outdoor scoreboard. And that was the tempo. The tempo got them uh, kind of. Uh, off key, and you can see the corner here, 
Uh, there's a little slip. You can't see it on the replay, but there's a little slip. And he got free. And what a great play by Holman uh, hitting uh, Hayden Zeller. What a nice play. Six foot five, 187 pounds. That's a nice looking target. Touchdowns presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider, specializing in auto home business insurance and more. Allen Davis touchdown, extra point is up and good. The Cardinals lead Coldwater 7 0 here on WOSN. Today's premier sponsor for the Coldwater Cavaliers is the People's Bank. Thanks to the People's Bank for being tonight's premier sponsor for Coldwater Cavalier football. So No Bremen has it deep in their own end, gets a quick first down, and then that drive, John, was just a, a mix of passing, running, a whole bunch of different Cardinals getting a hand in on the touchdown. Yeah, that was an extremely good uh, uh, play calling by Coach Schmidt to just mix it up and keep Coldwater off balance. Ball on the turf, Harlemer will pick it up, and now he's got some room to run across the 20, and he'll be tackled just outside the 25-yard line. So very nice recovery that time by Harlemer. Yeah, very good. And, you know, you talk to uh, uh, the coaches before the game, and kick, the special teams is going to be a critical part of this game and just not allowing these big plays. And Coldwater at that time, you know, trying to get back into the game, down being down, uh, special teams is going to be an avenue for them to do that. I talked to Chris Schmidt on Monday, and I said, what's this feel like to be a part of a big game? You guys have really turned the corner. And he said, yeah, when I started here, nobody wanted to talk to me <laughs> on a Monday morning. <laughs> and he said, but it's good for the kids. They had a great atmosphere against Marion Local, and he was hoping for uh, a better performance tonight so that they can get a victory. And M New Bremen certainly came out and ha has had a great first quarter. Blasting game will try and answer, of course, his older brother. Uh, also a very good quarterback for Coldwater, helping lead them to their last state championship and a nice out route looks like a completion to the far side oh incomplete they say no it was complete so they'll move the stick so another lot of jewelry first down as the play action fake works nicely yeah it looks like he hit curtis durr there on an out route again and that you can see cold water is just working those out routes right now a lot of hitches a lot of out routes you can't help to think that at some point they're going to be an out and up and they're going to try a post route across the middle and, and try to really bring New Bremen safeties up and try to go deep on them. Trips to the bottom for Blasting Game and the Cavaliers. Blasting Game will keep it and go to the weak side. He's got nice six yard pickup and that'll make a second and short situation for Coldwater after that lot of jewelry first down. Well, it was interesting because I, I, I feel like New Bremen must have scouted that. And they're, they're in the same formation they've been, but there's something about that because they rolled both safeties down and blasting game immediately went to the weak side of the field and it picked up a great gain. But, you know, that's something that if you're Coach Otten, you you got a guy here in the booth saying, Coach, they're rolling up their safeties, they're rolling up their safeties, there's, there's no one deep. So just keep an eye on that as the game progresses. Both staffs very well put together and lots of experience for sure as blasting game goes deep down the field, streaking and just out of the reach of number four. That's Braylon Harlemert. And that'll bring up third down for Coldwater. Yeah, that was a, that was a great play call. Uh, Harlemer came open, uh, just overthrew him just a tad bit. But uh, like I had said on the previous play, you know, rolling those safeties up like that, eventually mm -hmm. you have to you have to soften those safeties. And I think I think uh, they want Blasting Game to run the ball. I think that's the biggest thing that they want to happen tonight. But at the same time, uh, you know, they want to get the ball to, to to some other guys as well out on the edge. So third down and five for Coldwater. Punted last time, trying to avoid that fate this time. Blasting game. Great coverage by New Bremen. He's going to let it fly. Double coverage by New Bremen, and it's almost caught. What a great effort by Evan Harlemert that time, in and out of his hands as he was falling down and double covered. Well, he had to adjust his route, and that was, I think, the tricky part because he, he had two defenders. He was double covered, but he kind of split the defenders and then came open there. But, you know, that's really a tough catch to make when you're you're changing your route mid-step uh, mid and then looking up into the sky and seeing the lights and the – the clouds and everything else and trying to find a football, but what a nice route. And what a picture-perfect sky we have here in Coldwater tonight. Down in God's country, it's always good to visit with our friends in Mercer County as Kopp is back to boot this one away. Pinned him deep last time. And New Bremen will bring some pressure. He's angling it towards the near sideline. And it'll get a Coldwater bounce inside the 30. Rolls another... 
Boy, that was a nice 12, 15 yard roll. Yeah, uh, Coldwater has to be really happy with their kicking game, specifically their punt team right now. They're putting New Bremen in really tough situations and giving their defense an opportunity to, to come out and make a stop. Coldwater volleyball team with a huge MAC win last night. Handy Marion Local, their first MAC loss as the tournament just right around the corner for all of these MAC volleyball teams and always such good action. We'll see who ends up at state this year in divisions three and four as New Bremen takes over and we'll try and replicate what they did last time. Holman will keep it right up the middle. Good patience. Look at him bounce it to the outside and make nothing into about three yards. Yeah, and they're lucky that A.J. Harlemert came up and made that tackle because if he doesn't, Holman's going a long way and you can see him make this fake. He's very patient, like you said. You see that strength and that size and he just kind of gets to the point where he can get just a few yards. So that brings up second down and six. Nearing the end of our first quarter here in Coldwater. Nice counter. <laughs> he just puts his head down. Schaefer is such a tough runner and he's got about four yards and it'll be third and short. Yeah, you know, his his strength right now is not only his, you know, his his body strength wise, but his his uh, he's low to the ground. I mean, being being he runs so low and his shoulders are square and is and, and for a defender to get lower than him is incredibly tough. I really like the way he runs. It's just so hard to bring him down, isn't it? Well, just strength. I mean, you yeah. can see how he runs. And like I said, you're going to have to have a picture, a fundamental tackle to, to bring him down. So third down and two for New Bremen. Under 30 seconds left in our opening quarter. Fakes the handoff, Holman's got space. He's to the outside, one man to beat, and he does beat him and across midfield and out of bounds. Another lot of jewelry, first down for New Bremen. Similar to some, the play they ran two downs ago, uh, just allowing him to kind of read the, the, the tackle and the guard's block. You can see in there, there we see a guard pulling. Did a nice job there, uh, number 68. Marcus Spielman turning around there and, and blocking up inside, and, and Holman did a great job of uh, kicking it back outside and getting the, that first down, or close to that first down yardage there. So New Bremen with a fresh set of downs, and the penalty brings it back, is that? Or they say he stepped out of bounds, is that what it was? We got second down. They must have said that, but I, I don't know why, because they didn't, they hadn't lost yards, so to me, I think it's first down, but maybe Maybe I, we are getting old, Andy. <laughs> we are, aren't we, John? We're talking about how old, <laughs> how old our kids are, you right? know, before. Yeah, we, we're getting old. <laughs> Almost intercepted by Coldwater. A little miscommunication there as the slot receiver was running out. I think maybe maybe this receiver got back late. Let's see what happened here on the Homans Insurance Replay. Yeah, it looks like he just let him just a little too much, and it didn't look like the route had completely developed, and uh, he's lucky that uh, there's Coldwater wasn't there to get a pick. So it does appear to be third down and 10 here. 13 seconds left in the opening quarter on your structure outdoor scoreboard. New Bremen hanging on to that 7 0 lead. Throwing, oh, he wanted to throw, and now trouble. Coldwater, great pressure, and that'll bring up fourth down as the quarter will come to a close. Well, that was a tough route because they're running to the short side of the field, uh, and, and you can see as they, as they get to the field, the field kind of shrinks, and there's just not a lot there. Great coverage by Coldwater. We've seen a really great first quarter. So one quarter in the books from Cavalier Stadium, and number three, New Bremen, leading on the road 7-0 on WSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let's Structure Outdoor Ohio bring you indoors out. And Home and Insurance is tonight's instant replay sponsor. Your trusted local insurance specialist, member of the Wayne Insurance Group, with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and Versailles. John, do you remember the old website? I prefer Chickasaw.com. <laughs> it was around that, for a little bit. Th that, that, that jogs the memory a little bit, Andy. <laughs> I don't remember anything was that, else about was it. it. Was that when dial-up was still, <laughs> still around? I don't know, but it was a website. <laughs> that one is kicked out of bounds by New Bremen and Coldwater. will take over looking for their first score of the night. Boy, picture perfect football weather here. The Coldwater student section dressed in bright orange, which I always appreciate as a Syracuse grad. And then we've got pink for New Bremen, and we noticed, my son Nathan is with me, we noticed a couple pink Panthers sneak in. You know, I did see them come yeah. in. I'm glad Nathan's got an eye for that, because, uh, <laughs> you know, seeing those guys come in, uh, that was a good spot by him. 
So Cole Water will take over. Blasting game in the shotgun. Puts the man in motion. Jet sweep. He fakes. And Blasting game is wrapped up. What penetration by the Cardinals that time. Yeah, what a fantastic play. And, and not only did they, they they're in that 3-3 that three, three front and they're flowing from side to side. And what a great play uh, defensively for the for the Cardinals. That's 55, Jack Saylor, 5'11", 206 pounds. And he got in there good. And, and Chris Schmidt made the comment, both both offensive line and defensive line for Coldwater. He said they got a couple big boys that we got to contend with. And he was a little bit concerned. Saylor showing the quickness there to get in the backfield. And it is now second down and 12 after the two-yard loss. Yeah, and I think if you're Coldwater here, you're, you're really starting to, you know, uh, might have to open your playbook just a little because Nubrima has really defended everything that you've given him so far. Just as you say that, blasting game finds Durr close to a first down. Looks like they'll mark it at the 30, so it's going to be third down and about three as we take a look at our home and insurance replay. Yeah, and I like this. I, you know, as I say, open up the playbook. They just run the same play they've run, you know, <laughs> last 10 times. And I think to myself, you know, as a coach, no, you do not change the playbook. You continue to do what you do. Uh, this is the fan in me wanting to say that. But, uh, you know, Coldwater, really, they're just good at what, everything that they do. Be a keeper for a game. Three Cardinals he's going to have to outrun, and he does just that. How about that run across the 40? It looked like he was in trouble, and he just kicked it into an extra gear. Well, it has been fun watching these two quarterbacks. I mean, Holman basically made the same play just yep. a series ago, and you see Blassing game. I mean, once he hits that corner, it's him and about five new Bremen uh, defensive players, and what he just put it like in another gear there, turned the corner, and made a big first down for the uh, Cavaliers. Up front for Coldwater, we have Kale Wenning, the center, Braden Klosterman, one guard, Shane Ontrop's another guard, uh, Will Fox and Evan Homan are the tackles. And Will Fox, of course, the state wrestler, and we noticed on senior night, he has flowing locks, much alike Thor, <laughs> and, and he's showing off the locks here tonight under the football helmet. That's thrown to the sideline, close to a first down once again. Boy, it seems like they go right to that first down marker, and that's where they're positioning themselves as the catch made once again by Blade Busher. Yeah, and they're given what the defense is. Uh, they're taking what the defense is giving them right now. And uh, Cold or New Bremen is dead set on making sure that they're not going to get beat deep. And and Coldwater's just you know calling those underneath routes to get guys open and and to get chunks of yards. Talk to the guys doing the sticks on the far sideline. One gentleman said he's been doing it for 45 years i had the chance to do it for a middle school game this year john over in indiana <laughs> and it's not an easy job but what a great run there by cavaliers braylon harlemer across midfield and a first down a lot of jewelry first down as a matter of fact well now they're starting to roll a little bit and you're starting to see some creases in the defense and i'm looking at new bremen's defense and i see some guys with their hands on their hips because they're starting to they're starting to get hit a little bit and this is kind of where that Winning that line of scrimmage is so important and dominating that front. You just talked about that cold water offensive line. They're really making some holes. So a new first down and blasting game, keeping it. Nice cutback. He's across the 35. So a nice seven or eight yard gain for blasting game on first down. Makes second down very manageable. Yeah, it looked like the ball kind of slipped out of there at the uh, last second. But uh, Jim Epperly is going to say he was down and. I would not go against what Jim Epperly says. You know, he's he's you know he knows what he's doing. So, uh, but it looks like they're going to get a good chunk of char uh, yards there, and it's going to be about second and five here, Andy. All right, so five yard gain, two receivers to the top for Coldwater. This is their best drive of the night thus far. Have had to punt twice, and a nice catch by Harlemer squares up the. Defender and Teeman stays right there with him. He didn't go for the fake, and a nice tackle made right at the 25. Well, one of the things I like to see is that, uh, you know, as, as New Bremen now is starting to bring pressure, you've seen two linebackers come, and Blasting Game does not panic whatsoever. He quickly knows where he has to go, and he gets it underneath, and Harlemer makes a great, uh, does a great job of catching the ball and then getting a few yards after that as well. well so a lot of jewelry first down for Coldwater as they're getting close to our Pantry Pride red zone. Blasting Game. Cut down by New Bremen once again. It's number 58. Well, I looked at the wrong roster, John. It's Carter Elking, the big play, six foot, 193 pounds. Yeah, and I don't know if they had a game on or a stunt or what, but he came through pretty easily. 
um, and made just a fantastic play. You know, I was looking downfield to see the coverage, and before long, he's in the backfield bringing, uh, bringing Blasting Game down. So loss of two makes it second and 12. Blasting Game with three receivers to the top. He looks near side. Harlemert, the great catch on the slant. He's going towards the end zone down near the goal line. They mark him just short. And what a beautiful route that time by A.J. Harlemer. Yeah, that was a nice play. And it was more like, it was, it was kind of like a slant, but a deep slant. And I wouldn't, don't want to call it a drag route, but uh, he runs it underneath. And I think that's because New Bremen is blitzing and their linebackers leaving a void in the defense. And what a great play call by Coach Otten. So the home and insurance replay shows Coldwater down near the goal line. It'll officially be on the one. Another Lodic Jewelry first down. And for the first time tonight, Coldwater has entered the Pantry Pride Red Zone. Pantry Pride means quality meets, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. Hand off here for Coldwater, and they have their first touchdown of the night. It belongs to Jack Ebbing, and it's 7-6 New Bremen. Well, that was just a that was just an answer drive right there. That was something that uh, they needed to come back and kind of make a statement and uh, you know, this is a as much uh, eye formation as you'll see tonight. Just power football, giving the ball to Ebbing and him finding the end zone. So the Cavaliers will look to tack on the extra point as Justin Cox will get ready. The holder is Evan Harlemer. And here, of course, is the line movement. One of the things I, I, I kind of wondered before the game is, you know, this is going to be a, a show of two offenses, but I don't think you're going to see a 48 to 42 game. No. I think it's going to be, it's go, every yard's going to be tough, every point is going to be tough, but you're going to see two incredible offenses really getting after it, and that's what we've seen so far. Top with his 33rd PAT of the year ties this one at seven. We'll step aside as well. We got a good one brewing in the MAC here on WSM. That Jack Evans touchdown presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto, home, business, insurance, and more. Thanks again to Allen Davis Insurance as we are tied at seven. Cardinals returning this kickoff across midfield, or not across midfield, but a nice return there by Kale Tangeman to the 28 yard line. Yeah, and uh, you know you can see that, sp that special teams coming back into play here. It looked like that there could be an opportunity for a big return, and uh, looked like number 22 Jack Ebbing for the uh, the Cavaliers came up and just made a great play and uh, kept them from getting a big uh, return. So he makes a touchdown, scores a touchdown. I just said makes a touchdown, John. Wow, <laughs> you're I'm, a little rusty. I've been away. <laughs> Good run out near the 35 for Schaefer. And that'll make it second in about four. Here's Schaefer on your home insurance replay. Well, and uh, ni nice play inside. And here comes Tempo again, trying to get a playoff quick and trying to catch Coldwater uh, in a surprise situation. Schaefer close to that first down marker, but doesn't quite get there. Cavs will get a chance to get a new defensive lineman out on the field. And New Bremen will slow it down just a little bit to figure out their third and one play. And, and, and they've put themselves really in good third down situations, yeah. and now they, they have this opportunity to get another first down. Goes left, goes back right. Holman got it eventually. But again, great vision by the quarterback. Saw that he didn't have it and adjusted, and that is a lot of jewelry first down. Yeah, because it wasn't there uh, where the play was supposed to go, but he did a great job of just cutting back. And, you know, one of the things I like about these teams as they both play hard you see the guys on the back side blocking and because the guys on the black the, the back side of the line are continuing to block Holman's able to go and cut back and be able to get a first down so new Bremen crossed off the hands of the receiver so that will be an incompletion second down and 10 coming up for the cards yeah, that, uh, that was a nice uh, play call across the middle. He just uh, was a little high on that pass. And, you know, uh, they've, they've really established their running game. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's the next step here is let's see if we can get some play action passing going uh, to potentially put ourselves in a, in a position to get a big play. I know that uh, Coach uh, Schmidt said that he really wanted to, to make plays offensively to get in scoring position tonight. So you can see them trying to set that up. 
Keeping it is Homan, and he only gets a couple. So that cold water interior doing a nice job to bring up a third and long situation for the Cardinals. Really the first third and long of the night that I can remember, John. Yeah, they, they've stayed at a third and long, and they've been able to uh, – I think they've typically ran a good first down play and then went tempo on that second down play um, and, and then had short yardage on third down. But now Coldwater has them in the position they want third and long. So Holman in the shotgun will pass. On oh, the sack by Coldwater. The Cavalier defense coming up big with a stop, and they will force the new Bremen punt. Oh, Evan Homing, he just – what a beast. Gets in there and, and, and makes a great play from behind. And you can see that, you know, Holman's not easy to bring down. But here he comes. And he not only did he did he make the play, but he had some help there from Shane Ontrop as well. And that was just a great uh, play for Coldwater. Give them that momentum boost right now. Holman 6'3", 275, as this one is booted away by uh, Zeller. And Coldwater will take over with pretty good field position just outside the 30 as Mac football continues of course those of you who perhaps are like me and have been gone for several years uh, an expanded playoff for yes. football the last well did it start last year the 16 teams John I yeah think it, it did it did because two years ago was the COVID year where everybody got in and then last year was the first year and uh, you know, from everybody, every, well, I talk to coaches. From every coach I talk to, they hate it. So okay. I don't know what to say about that <laughs> other than <laughs> no one's really a fan except, you know, you do get to play a week longer in the season, but you have to start a week earlier. So I don't know if that's a good trade off or not. Right. And, and the MAC ends up with eight or nine teams in the playoffs a lot that's of right. times. That's so right. That's right. It's good for some of those schools to get at least one more game, I suppose. Maybe some more. As this one is kept by Blasting Game, he's up to the 35 yard line. and that's the recipe for success for Coldwater. Brings up second and five. Yeah, and, and you know, getting back to the playoff talk, you know, lately I'm hearing a lot about OHSAA potentially looking to go back to 12 teams. Oh, wow. Well, I guess they've never gone and had 12 teams, but giving those top four seeds a bye and then letting those those bottom uh, the bottom eight from there uh, play it out. And I don't, I don't mind that. That's not a bad setup, but I still i am just a fan of uh, the old eight-team uh, playoff system. I thought that was very fair. Second down and four, blasting game. Turns the corner, he's got room, skipping out of one tackle, and he's tackled at the 47-yard line. That's a lot of jewelry first down for Coldwater, and they're finding something this last drive and a half. Yeah, the he's, uh, blasting game's starting to find his groove. And, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, you're starting to see those linemen start to push guys around. You know, one of the things I noticed was uh, Coldwater's bringing in a lot of guys on offense, you know, and a lot of guys on defense are coming off the field. And, you know, in the second half, that will, or in the first half, that'll kind of show up, but you'll really start to see that in the second half. 7-7 seven to seven on your structure outdoor scoreboard as this handoff is given to Evan, and he's going to have a big hole up the middle. Shoestring tackle, or he would add more, but that looks like it's another lot of jewelry first down for Coldwater. Yeah, Coldwater's moving the ball. You see those guys up front really starting to make some moves, uh, pushing guys down the field. Uh, one of the plays on Trop there, once again, the guard just really making some noise on the defensive line and pushing people around. Ebbing the third leading rusher for Coldwater coming into this game. Thanks to Chris Chrome for all kinds of stats and facts from Coldwater, but he only had 144 yards coming into the game, and he's already got the touchdown and maybe 30 or, or so yards tonight. We'll see if they run him more, and just as we say that, it's a little trickery and a different Coldwater runner. Is that number seven, Durr? I think oh, it was Harlemert. Harlemert I'm yeah. sorry. Yep, Braylon Harlemert. So nice little draw up here by Coach Otten. Yeah, and I think statistically, if, you, if you're if you trying to break down Coldwater, you're looking at blasting game. And that, you know, as a high school coach, you don't have – five hours a night to practice so you're 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 really going to try to take away their best uh their best their biggest threat yeah. and so now you're going to start to see some of those other guys get the opportunity to get carries because you've been scouted that your quarterback's going to run the ball quite a bit the whistles blow it's going to be a false start on cold water and so their second down play will be backed up to about second and 13 instead of second and eight And that's something we really haven't seen a ton of is, is a lot of penalties. I mean, these, we have these, they, they, yeah. they've, and, and, and you're going to find that with two disciplined teams, um, two well-coached teams, uh, guys that you can see helping each other up off the field. Um, you know, it's fun to watch football when you see the respect that both teams have for each other. Yeah. 
storied program of cold water and been cool to see New Bremen's surge the last several years. I remember, what, a decade ago, and probably not even, they, they didn't know if they had enough numbers for a football team, and all of a sudden an eighth grade class was big enough, and we have a Speedway Lanes timeout. Thanks to Speedway Lanes for sponsoring timeouts in New Bremen, bringing family, friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone at 7-7 here in Coldwater. Today's premier sponsor for the Coldwater Cavaliers is the People's Bank Company. Thanks to the People's Bank Company for being the premier sponsor for the Coldwater Cavaliers. Andy Lynch, John Zerby recapping last season after the 2020 state championship by New Bremen. Finished eight and four last year. Uh, losing to Coldwater, Versailles, and Marion, which is no slouch. Two state champions from last year in that group, and then they lost in the regional quarterfinal to Tri-Village by just a field goal. And the funny thing is is they lost all those title teams in their league play, not in the playoffs, you know. That's right. that's the incredible thing, that, uh, that statistic. Yeah, Ben Kramer from uh, Marion Local said maybe 15 years ago at this point, I'd rather win the MAC than win a state title. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a nice little hitch route to Harlemert, and he gets – about 10, and then we late hit. Yeah, it looked like there was some extracurricular activities going on down on the sideline. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it was late, you know, late hit or something said. A uh, little push there right at the end. Yeah, it's going to give them. At yep. that point. So A.J. Harlemert makes the catch, then draws the penalty as well, which will mark off the, the yardage. It'll be a first down. Another lot of jewelry first down. Uh, Great announcement during the break, John. The PA announcer here at Coldwater uh, had to leave 20 minutes before the game time and has a baby boy. So congratulations, congratulations to him and his family. <laughs> yeah, that's that's awesome, and it's uh, you know it's pretty cool that they announced it and everybody clapped. And uh, like we said here, we expect him to be back for the second half. <laughs> so <laughs> in true Mac fashion. <laughs> yes, congratulations. 2:52 to go in our second quarter on your structure outdoor scoreboard. All tied up at seven. Coldwater looking for their first lead of the night as they are close to that pantry pride red zone nice swing pass to Harlemer he uses the blocker boy but New Bremen continues its pursuit nice job not to quit by the Cardinals it's a short game yeah Hayden Zeller he he really got he really made that play defensively you can see him run through a block almost knocked the blocker into the uh, the receiver and then he goes down and makes the tackle really fantastic play by Zeller so it'll be second and about six Two and a half to go. Is Coldwater thinking at all about that clock, John? They, they want to be the last one to touch the ball in the half? I, I think so, I, I, but I don't think they're l thinking about it enough to change what they're doing. I think they've got plenty enough time. They've got timeouts. Uh, they're really in a good position right here, Andy. Out to the running back, Eben. And he's tackled for a short gain as well. They are indeed in the Pantry Pride red zone. Pantry Pride means best quality meets, best value for your dollar, and best service that you can count on. And so driving and certainly – in field goal range when you know cold water's kicking game yeah and and you can be i mean you can be a little bit safe here uh, especially uh you know you don't really want to give new bremen an opportunity to touch the ball whatsoever even if it's a kickoff or whatever but you do want to get points right. uh before halftime so they got to get that first down it's third and five Arlo merton motion looking that way boy good pickup back the other way Blasting game, and he's still on his feet. Blasting game across the end line. Marked down at the one. What an effort by Blasting game. What a fantastic effort. And, you know, what I love about it is is that you got guys blocking here. Watch Evan Homan come here right in your corner of your screen and just kind of give a little <laughs> bit of, you know, kind of an ole, but right. got hands on him. And Blasting Game shows that incredible athletic ability, reversing his feet. That was not that was not the way the, that play was designed. That was him making that play. So a minute four and counting. They are on the one-yard line. New Bremen will let the clock continue to run. They just have the one timeout remaining. Coldwater with all three, of course. And Coach Otten talking with the sideline judge. And he'll get that timeout probably five, five seconds on the play clock. He'll let it run down, and there it is. So the Cavs will both use the clock, but then also drop a, perhaps a touchdown play. Of course, their touchdown came on first down and goal from the one-yard line. They gave it to Ebbing up the middle. 
Yeah, and you know, I kind of thought maybe it would be right at the end of the half that they'd have a chance to score, but that big play puts them in scoring position and really puts them in a great spot, uh, you know, offensively. And, uh, you know, you can try a few things here. I think they're just going to run the ball, but you can you can be a little bit aggressive and try some things here. Uh, if it doesn't work, you still have uh, two other downs to, to make the play. There's last year for Coach Chip Otten, another state championship game. <laughs> That's been the story for Coldwater over the last 15 years or so. It seems like they're always in that state championship game. Lost a tough one to a very good carry team. Uh, lost to Marion Local and beat New Bremen during the regular season at 13-3 and three run. Isn't that weird to see 16 games in the record, John? Well, it's it's a lot of games. It and, is. you know, for, for coaches it is, but for kids especially. But what an incredible, uh, you know, 10, 15, really 20 years Coldwater's had, right. starting with John Reed, right. you know, and the, and the tremendous uh, impact he made not only on the field but uh, off the field. And now Coach Otten, who's – who's retired now. You know, he gets to be a full-time football coach, and I'm excited for him, and that's great, but just been fantastic here for Coldwater. Blasted game, just dances his way in. Well, Touchdown, I mean, Coldwater. Cold Cavs Touchdown. go up 13-7. to seven. Touchdowns presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider, specializing in auto, home, business, insurance, and more. And look at this, patience again. Yeah, patience and uh, just the great blocking up front as well. Uh, I can't say enough about the offensive linemen uh, for the Coldwater Cavaliers, just doing a fantastic job of blasting game, making plays with his feet and getting in the end zone. Now that really gives Coldwater a big momentum shift going into halftime. First lead of the night for Coldwater with 36 seconds left in the half is Justin Kopp will try and make it a seven point game. He's only missed two PATs on the season. Continuing that strong tradition. Harlemert will hold. That is up and good. Beautiful kick on a beautiful night in Coldwater where the Cavs lead 14 to seven in a Mammoth Max showdown brought to you here on WSN. Lots of streaks on the line for Coldwater here at Cavalier Stadium. How about a 23 game home winning streak? 14 of those MAC games, 85 and five at home since 2000 and 122 and eight since 95. And at least since 1995, they've not lost back-to-back -back home games. John, those are incredible Madden-like numbers that I would put up in my heyday <laughs> on Madden 94. Well, you know, these are second generation kids that are starting to do that. Right. I mean, these are dads right. that had started that st those streaks and, and, and those achievements that they've had at this field. And one thing that is, is clear, it is tough to win at this place if you're an opposing team. And there's a definite advantage for you as a Coldwater Cavalier uh, to be playing at home. New Bremen runs Grant Dickey to the bottom of your screen. Teeman is in the slot, and so we'll see what the Cardinals come out doing. They'll just do a handoff here to Schlade, or I'm sorry. Big run. Hunter Schaefer. Wow. <laughs> You know, I, I think, wasn't uh, prepared for that. Well, I don't think New Bremen <laughs> was either. I think they thought, let's just run the clock, and Schaefer just <laughs> pops it outside. And, you know, I, I think uh, Coldwater's probably looking for a pass play or something. And then the fumble at the end kind of adds a little intrigue to it. Now now New Bremen's wanting to score. Cards do have two timeouts remaining. I was wrong about that. Throw out the team, in, but he drops it. It will stop the clock with 17 seconds to go, but team holding his helmet. He knew Ooh. that could have been a nice gainer. Yeah, that would have put him in field goal position. He had lots of grass ahead of him, and he could have uh, ran to the sideline and still picked up another 10 to 15 yards and give them the opportunity to maybe get some points on the, on the board. So it brings up second down, 17 seconds to go, ball spotted at the 33. And again, the two receivers come to the bottom of your screen. Looking deep, lays it out. Nice defensive play by Harlemert of Coldwater. Wow, what a tip. And you know, the thing is, is that, you know, I, I think New Bremen's kind of looking over at the officials like, you know, pass interference, but there's just two guys really going for the ball. And that's really, that's, that's tough to do that. To me, it looked like it was defended really clean. Um, and Harlemer did a great job of just getting his body in position to, to, to stop the ball and to make a big play. 11 seconds, John. Definitely time for a couple plays with those timeouts, two remaining for New Bremen. You see the, the coverage kind of tighten up, too. You see uh, Coldwater run their, roll their safeties up. But Wow, what a huge tackle. 
24 flying in for Coldwater. That's Miles Potcotter, and look at this home and insurance replay. This is fantastic. I love the tackle. Coming in there, Potcotter just gets his head in and gets his head in front, and you can see that he's excited as well. And, yeah, Will Fox is just saying, hey, great job, buddy. You know, keep it up. Great work. Miles, a 5'11 sophomore, 145 pounds, using that quickness there, backing New Bremen up just a bit. So what do you do, just, just a Hail Mary at this point, John? Yeah, I think so. And I think that, you know, if you're at the other end of the field, you maybe take a knee and get out of here. But you're in a position now where you might as well take a chance. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. And the only thing is that make sure you're throwing it at the sideline. You definitely don't want to throw a pick yeah. uh, and, and have someone return it. And, and I've seen that kind of thing happen. So throw it at the sideline. Let some guys go up for it. Maybe someone will come down with it. Here's your MAC standings. Coldwater and Marion Local, both number one in their respective divisions. Cavs in Division 5, Flyers in Division 6. Of course, Marion and Versailles both won state titles last year. And then we have New Bremen, and I believe Minster just has one loss. Are they 6-1 and one in the MAC? I'm not sure. Or 4-1 in the MAC. I'm sorry. Yep, there it is. I got to read better, John. <laughs> I mean, you know, Coldwater, you said it earlier, but they're <laughs> – they're stretch here at the end. You know, they've got New Bremen tonight versus Sales next week, and yep. then they'll finish out week 10 with Marion Local. So their, their stretch here is going to be uh, pretty pretty treacherous. Holman's throwing it down the sideline. Two players jockeying for it. Good hand battle there. And there's still seven-tenths of a second on the clock. Hey, time for one more play. You know, and that's, uh, that's okay. It's fourth down, and, you know, it's a really good opportunity to, to try it again. Give it a shot. That throw would have put it about the 15 or the 10. Yeah. Good coverage by Coldwater. So even if it was a catch, would have been hard to get in the end zone at that point. Yeah, and, you know, I think that that's what New Bremen wanted. I think they just wanted to get some chunks here. Yeah. But it uh, uh, looks like that might have been a turnover on down the Towns, Andy. That was fourth down You're there. Right. So it uh, looks like Coldwater is going to get the ball and probably just get into the locker room and, and get out of here feeling good about a seven-point lead. Blasting game in the shotgun. So you never know. The deep running back, though, would sense that. And it will indeed be a kneel down. So at halftime, number one Coldwater leads New Bremen 14 to 7 here on WOSN. Halftime wrapping up here at Cavalier Stadium with Coldwater up 14 to 7 on New Bremen. Andy Lynch, John Zerby bringing you all the action, and I don't know what that orange thing is, but it is awesome. <laughs> it's taking up two seats, though. I bet Eric Goodwin required two tickets for that one. Thanks to Eric Goodwin and his fine staff here at Coldwater, amazing wings. And my son enjoyed the pizza. John New Bremen got off to a great start, took that 7 nothing lead, and then two big touchdowns by Coldwater, and they've taken control. Yeah, and it's been a hard-fought game. I mean, these two teams have went after it. They've, uh, they've really been uh, – it's been physical. It's been a clean game so far. And, uh, you know, it's just been, it's been tight, you know, and even, even at the end of the first half there, Coldwater getting those points right at the end of the first half, uh, those weren't easy. And so if the, the, the fact that the, they have a 14-7 lead um, really has shown what a good game it is. Cavaliers will receive the second half kickoff as Schaefer will get ready to boot it away. Not only is he the big running back for New Bremen, he's also the kicker. He's responsible for that extra point as well. So we'll see how this second half begins. I always want to remind you of our John Reed Leadership Award. You can go to WSN.tv slash John Reed to nominate a coach, Coach John Zerby, the recipient of the John Reed Award many, many years ago. It feels like. Forever ago. Here comes <laughs> to the outside. <laughs> Part Near midfield, nice return by the Cavs, and here comes more laundry for another late hit. You know, and it's that sideline. That sideline's tough. You know, if you're a new Bremen, you gotta you gotta stay composed. Um, I know that uh, you know there's some emotions flying here, but uh, these these big penalties. You know, now you're gonna get a, a second penalty here on the sideline. Um, that's gonna cost you big, and that's a huge field position advantage for Cav uh, for Coldwater. Cavs up 14-7 on your structure outdoor scoreboard. And they will advance that ball past midfield to the 45, it looks like. And Harleman already had a really good return. Right. I mean, it was, it was a really nice return, and now this is going to put uh, Coldwater in New Bremen territory on the 45. So, man, you could have asked for better field position if you're Coldwater. 
Blasting game in the shotgun. Trips to the left. Fakes the quick pass. New Bremen not fooled. So nice first down stand by the front four of the Cardinals. Yeah, Dylan Bambauer made a great play from his linebacker position. Uh, kind of reading it and flowing over the top. And you could see the strength on strength there. Those two guys battling for yardage and uh, not getting much. Only a yard gain for Coldwater. Second down and nine. Coming up for the Cavs. Great night here at Cavalier Stadium. Cool temperatures as the sunset has turned tonight. Looking deep is Blasting Game. Harlem Earth, the catch near the 34 yard line. It's another Lodic jewelry first down. And then we've seen that play, Andy. I they mean, I, they really they really haven't mixed it up too much, and they, they run trips to the wide side of the field, and then they're going to isolate Harlem Earth on the back side and run him. You know, it's not a short route by any means, but it's about a mid mid range route, and uh, it's a timing route, and they really are executing it. So first down for Coldwater, just inside the 35. Throw it to the other side of the field. Harlem are nice cut back. He's headed to the sideline. New Bremen will knock him out of bounds inside the 10 as Coldwater enters the Pantry Pride red zone. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, best service you can count on. Well, I love the uh, the block there by number seven. Uh, I didn't catch a name on that there. Curtis Durr. Yeah, Curtis Durr. What a fantastic block. And that just uh, spurred a nice gain there by Braylon Harlemert. Harlemer. And, uh, man, Coldwater's really knocking on the door at this point. Yeah, so the Twins doing it, one on each side. A.J. to the near side, Braylon to the far side. And Coldwater, another lot of jewelry, first down. Now you get a tight end of the game. You get an eye back, uh, a backfield, and you've got to think some power football coming here. Blasting game on the keep. New Bremen pressing him outside. He dives for the cone. Is he in? No, just <laughs> at the one-yard <laughs> line. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what an athletic play, but watch Jack Ebbing here, the fullback. Well, I guess he's the tailback. You see him get out here and make a oh, great man. block. And then, uh, you know, what a great opportunity by Blasting Game to put his shoulder down. And, man, he felt he's feeling it there. He felt like he got in, but he's probably going to get a chance here as well. So for the third time tonight, it's first down and goal from the one for Coldwater. <laughs> they are two for two in that scenario, scoring touchdowns both times. Once with Evan, the other time blasting game, captain himself. So we'll see which one we go with here, or is there a third option for Coach Chip Otten and the Cavs? I think I'd stick with options one and two. That's Evan. Does he get across? Doesn't look like it. He'll be marked down just shy of the goal line, so second down and goal coming up for Coldwater. And I think maybe in this situation, you know, you're still going to get in this uh, formation with an eye backfield uh, with a tight end, but you know, let let Blasting Game use his feet somehow, make a fake or a play action, let him get on the edge, and I don't think it has to be necessarily a pass play, but give him that opportunity to to use his athletic ability to score. Blasting Game, a standout baseball player as well, now has a man on his hip, a little pistol action. He'll keep it himself, looking for the cutback. There it is. He's in. Touchdown, Coldwater. Cavaliers go up 20 to seven on your structure outdoor scoreboard and touchdowns presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto home business insurance and more. Yeah, and that was the uh, same play that they had run earlier. They had just ran it uh, to the right before uh, when Blasting Game almost scored and they run it to the left this time. And you know, the thing is, is that they're still tough touchdowns. I mean, he's not scoring easily. He's <laughs> they're struggling to get the in the in the end zone. New Bremen's doing a great job of being physical, but Coldwater has just enough to get it uh, to where it needs to be. Justin Kopp will try and make it a 14-point advantage for the Cavaliers. Harlem are to hold. Ball placed down. It's up. <laughs> it's a beauty. Into the night here at Coldwater, where the number one Cavaliers trying to stay unbeaten. They lead by 14 here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard here in Coldwater, sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Coldwater kicking off after a third consecutive drive ends in a touchdown, dating back to the second quarter. And it's picked up off the ground by the Cardinals as they try and 
respond. Good return. It comes out, and Coldwater thinks they have it. We'll wait for the official word, and indeed, the Coldwater Cavaliers wow. get the fumble recovery. Well, that's that, that's a that's a killer right there, Andy. Because uh, you know, talking about kicking game, talking about special teams, that's where the momentum really comes, and uh, you can see that ball kind of pop out there. Mason Welsh, the sophomore, looked to be the one to pop it out. And just like that, the Cavaliers who have scored on three straight drives, and we see the ball boys on the sideline for Coldwater <laughs> celebrating with a, a couple wrestling matches of their own. Yep, that's right. <laughs> that's how they train them up in Coldwater. They know how to celebrate. <laughs> Great wrestling program and football amongst many sports here for the Cavaliers who look to really open this thing up. I was about to say on, on the next play for New Bremen, this is a pivotal drive, and Pivotal for Coldwater as they get the fumble recovery. Blast the game will try and make a big play over the middle. First time we've seen him pass anywhere near the yeah. middle of the field. The catch by A.J. Harlem hurt. They're getting close to another first down. Well, now you're in position to, to loosen up a little bit, and you're going to see them, you know, maybe test New Bremen in some areas they haven't tested them because they feel a little bit comfortable with this 14-point lead. And, uh, boy, I like that play. Uh, getting the receiver across the middle and putting blasting game on a rollout. That's a lot of jewelry first down. Your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater and Van Werder online at loudoaks.com. This is an interesting formation. They got trips into the boundary, and then they're going to run blasting game to the weak side, and there's no one there. To the corner. He's knocked down. Is he in? No. Andy, you know what we're going to have? Tell me. First and goal from the, the one. one <laughs> <laughs> there's a theme here tonight. I don't know what it is, but there's a theme. And I think Chris Crown's going to tell us. Chris Crown's going to tell us that that's that's a record of some sort yeah. for Coldwater. He keeps track of all the stats, including how many first and ones they've had in blasting game. Over on the sideline, rolling a little bit. Yeah, he took a shot. Slow I to mean, get up. he uh, he took a shot and. You know, he felt it. He hit the track there as well. I mean, he, he tried to score, like we said earlier, yeah. you know. No touchdown has been easy, you know. Uh, New Bremen's putting up a fight, but, um, yeah, now you're going to get that first and one play. They are indeed in the Pantry Pride red zone. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for a dollar, best service you can count on. And a touchdown for Jack Evan, his second of the game. And now cold water in the driver's seat here. I mean, they, they've got to be feeling really good. Um, you know, they, they have penalty-wise have not made penalties, uh, kicking-wise have not made special teams mistakes, have really done the things that they wanted to do. They've, they've uh, prevented big plays for New Bremen. They've been you know, picking up those New Bremen blitzes. They've won the kicking game, and now they're in firm control of this game. Evan had three rushing touchdowns on the season coming into tonight. He adds two to his total there and touchdowns presented by our friends at Allen Davis Insurance, your solution provider, specializing in auto home, business insurance, and more, making it 27-7, and Cop will try and make it a 28-7 ball game. Spot is down, blocked, or at least off of somebody. <laughs> I'm not sure if <laughs> either We'll way, call it a block. Either, okay. <laughs> block for New Bremen. Cardinals will try and respond and use some momentum off that when we return here in the third quarter as the Cavaliers looking to move to 8-0 on WSN. Instant replays tonight provided by Holman Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, member of the Wayne Insurance Group with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and Versailles as this one kicked off by Coldwater. Again, it's loose. Let's see if Coldwater comes up with it again. Looks like New Bremen did wow. jump on it. Boy. I'll tell you, if you're New Bremen, you're you know, you're you gotta compose yourself here a little bit and, and you know it's uh it, He dropped it's, it initially and then there so. it was popped yep. out again. Yep. Nice job to recover for yeah. the Cardinals, and we'll see if New Bremen can put something together here. Boy, they came out that first quarter. They looked Oof. so good. Yep. Part of it's been, been the wearing down, like you talked about, John. Yeah. We'll see if the offense can get in gear here. As Holman will keep it, he'll run to the far side. He's got a nice little hurdle, a nice six-yard pickup for David Holman. Yeah, and I think at this point you you got to get back to some basics here. And, you know, you really, you've really played well. I yeah. mean, I, I, there's not anything besides a few mistakes that have cost you, so keep, keep with the game plan. Down deep, underneath, wow. and a huge catch for New Bremen. There goes Grant Dickey. 
And will anyone catch him? No, Grant Dickey, the long touchdown, 80 yards. And New Bremen draws back, 27-13. Exactly what they needed. Now, Andy, watch this play. Holman rolls left, throws across his body. Falling away even. On a dime, look at that <laughs> throw. What a great catch. Uh, and Grant Dickey, boy, nice stride there. For about two seconds, New Bremen was in the Pantry Pride red zone. <laughs> pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service that you can count on as Hunter Dickey streaked through the red zone and into the end zone. And New Bremen giving a punch in the arm. We'll see if their defense now can, can hold this cold water offense that scored on four consecutive drives, Sean. Yeah, I'll tell you, that was, that was the shot in the arm that they needed, and you could feel the uh, – energy on the cold water sideline just go out immediately so you know uh they're still in control so you're gonna it's gonna be interesting to kind of see what happens here and how you know they react to that now that it's a two score game once again Lassen game will lead his troops out there as new bremen kept it out of harlemer's hands on the return game cold water still brought it up to the 35 yard line and that's where they will take over here in week eight of the high school football season yeah, and I think if you're New Bremen, you still got to, basing out of this 3-4 defense, you see them blitzing a lot of linebackers, and I think you still got to keep applying that pressure. I don't think you can back off and play safe here. I think you need to still continue to dial up those blitzes. Jet sweep for Harlemert. He cuts up field. Nice move by Braylon. Out to the 48-yard line, and another first down brought to you by Lodex Jewelry. And, you know, that's a great way to get him the ball um, because he's shifty. You can see him here make that cut, and then he's right up the field. And uh, very nice play. You know, I know that they've run a lot of screens to him and well, a lot of short passes to him, I should say. But I like that jet sweep to him as well. So near midfield, first down for Coldwater. All alone in the backfield is blasting game. There goes Harlem Martin motion again. A little Confusion. Blast nope. game keeps it, and he'll just fall. No gain there to make something out of nothing. Well, and that's the counter off of that jet sweep play. They brought the same motion. They tried to run the same thing. It just looked like Harlem Hurt and uh, Blasting Game kind of ran into each other, and it kind of knocked off the timing there and uh, ended up losing a, a couple yards on that play, or yard, I should say. So second and 11. Coldwater up 13 on your Structures Outdoor scoreboard. Thanks to all of our great sponsors here tonight. And WOSN. Passing game again alone. A look at the throwback. It might have been tipped. Yeah. It's 23. That was applying pressure for New Bremen. Ben, ben Saylor. Yeah, Ben Saylor, six foot one, 185 pounds, and uh, did a real good job of snuffing the screen. You can see him kind of shut it down here, getting up and getting his hops. hands up. Yeah. Wow. Looks like a young Andy Lynch I getting up know. there and making that block. <laughs> I have not seen that tape. <laughs> it's buried somewhere, right? <laughs> Third and 11 for Coldwater. New Bremen needing to stop here to keep that momentum on their side. Blasting game. He'll open it up through the hands of the receiver, and it's fourth down. Timing route, good call. Everything looked good. It just was thrown a little high. Harlemert went up and uh, uh, tried to bring it in. Couldn't bring it in. And uh, now New Bremen, they're going to get the ball back here, Andy, with about seven minutes to go uh, in the third quarter and really in a good position uh, to put themselves maybe uh, within one score. 16 seniors for this New Bremen team. A few were part or played during that state championship season two years ago, but many of them or contributors, and they're trying to come back after leading this one, seven to nothing. Bowman trying to get to the outside. They had him back there, 25-yard line. Yeah, you don't see your quarterback <laughs> back to receiving punts very often, but that just shows his versatility and all the different things he can do. You also don't see your quarterback playing middle linebacker, making tackles That's all the time true. as well. So it uh, says a lot about him. Looking at the stats for see if Holman's in there for kick. Not a, hasn't done any kick returns this year, but is their main punt returner, 131 yards, and does have one touchdown as well. So he is in the shotgun. 
Steeman goes in motion. There's the counter. Schaefer <laughs> shifting those hips all over the place. Four yards and a good first down pickup. And you know, the nice thing is, is that because of that big play, because of that big score, they're not in a rush to necessarily have to score quickly now. I right, mean, plenty of time. Plenty of time to just get back into the game plan, get back into running the ball and getting big chunks of yards and moving the ball down the field. There's your home and insurance replay as the Cardinals approach the line. 6.20 to go in our third quarter, second and five. Takes the handoff home and keeps it. He runs into a defensive line of cold water and might have gained a yard, but it brings up third and four. And they're in a good position. Third and four is, is a good place to, to call kind of whatever you want. And you see they're going to go tempo here and kind of try to catch cold water. Home to the far side. Pump fakes. He'll keep it himself. Coldwater tracks him down. Yeah, what a great play by Cope, Cody Depweg. He just got down there and ran him down and made a fantastic tackle. In the first half, Holman was turning the corner against this defense. Not this time. No, and, and you know, the defensive end, uh, Cody Depweg, just he strung it out and mm -hmm. kept just making, you know, there was nothing left but a sideline, and uh, I like the effort there from Holman, but that was a big stop for the Coldwater defense. So New Bremen will punt it away on fourth and five. A couple field position trades here. A high punt, but short. Gets a New Bremen bounce. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It'll rest at the 26 yard line where Coldwater will that take over. And leading 27 to 14. Well, this is more like what we saw in the first quarter. It's, they're starting to defensively, both teams are starting to get after a little more and tighten up. And, um, you know, after those uh, kind of those touchdowns there at the beginning of the third quarter, you know, it looks like both teams are going to tighten up a bit. Great night for football here in the MAC. Cavaliers trying to stay on top along with the Marion local Flyers as those two have a date, week number 10. Stacked up at the line, New Bremen's defense really breathing new life into this team and it's gonna be second and long. Yeah, I like what Brett Schaefer did there. Uh, five foot nine inch, 163 pound linebacker coming in on the blitz and, and wrapping up and bringing him down and Boy, what a good first down play for New Bremen, getting that stop. These Cardinal linebackers have done a lot for New Bremen this year in stopping the run. And we'll see it there on that play as it brings up second down and 11. Five wide for the Cavs. And we haven't seen this set much. No. When I've seen it on film, it's a lot of blasting game taking the ball and running. And here comes a flag in. It was, it was going to be blasting game, but somebody left a little early. False start. Oh, and this is kind of where, you know, New Bremen has frustrated Coldwater a little bit with that big play and, and made a stop on defense. And you can see a little bit of, uh, like I said, frustration on the Coldwater side. Now they've got kind of a big uh, gap here with second and 15 uh, to get that first down. Blasting game with the running back next to him, Jack Evans. A flare out. Blasting game, all kinds of time. That line giving him a lot of time. He just has to throw it away. Intercepted, but out of oh bounds. Oh, boy. Team and says, I was in bounds. Wow. <laughs> what a great effort by number one on that one. Yeah, that was a, a fantastic effort by Team in. And, you know, the, the player that made this play was Ben Saylor, number 23, linebacker, because they had a, a running back uh, come out of the ebbing, comes out of the backfield. Okay and Saylor stays on him, and that's kind of the check down. And because of that, blasting game had nowhere to go and tried to throw it away and almost potentially threw, a, uh, threw an interception. So nice job, Ben Saylor, playing the back out of the backfield. Third down and 15 now for Coldwater. Let's see if they do something short or they go for all of it. All kinds of time for blasting game again. Still nowhere to go. Great coverage downfield by New Bremen. Nobody open, and he just has to take a couple yards and punt. Well, they played coverage that time. No blitzes. Uh, they spied Sailor on blasting game, 
And if you if you can see the replay here, he'll just kind of watch him, and they have everything covered up. And uh, with a big chunk of yards, you know, they could afford Boston game running for you know five or six if he needed to. But uh, the New Bremen defense was able to hold, and now they're going to get the ball in really good field position. Homan and Teeman back to receive. They're standing at their own 45-yard line. And so Coldwater, Kalp is back to boot it away. I think it's his fifth punt of the night, if I have any kind of memory whatsoever. <laughs> well, what does our, our stat guy say about that? Five punts or so? Yes, it's confirmed. <laughs> We got a whistle. What's, <laughs> what's going on here? They're going to back him up more? They have game to call. Yeah. Huh. Kalp's got a long of 53 on the season, so he has the ability to get it deep. Try and flip the field position here. And, you know, I think if you're New Bremen, you're just looking for a fair catch and no turnover. You, you want great field position. Um, you don't want to give uh, Coldwater the chance to get the ball back and, uh, you know, on a fumble or something like that. Teeman gets hit hard at the 42, but they're going to have great field position here to start their next drive on the New Bremen Cardinals. Yeah, Coach Schmidt will like that play, you know, getting uh, uh, the catch and, and the reception of the, of the punt. And there you go, Andy. There's your. I love whatever that is. <laughs> We need to find out what that is. Maybe we could send Ben Reif on a journey out to the stands to find out what that inflatable is. The people of uh, West Central Ohio want to know what that is. Yes, that's the fan of the week. That's for sure. And off to Schaefer. He's got some room on the outside. Nice forward roll. He's got six yards. And first down. Yeah, and you see some really good blocking. Both guards getting out there and, and making a play. And, I even seen tight end Dylan, uh, Dylan Bambauer just making blocks down the field, and now you're seeing tempo. Safer again. Full water snuffed it out, but he gets to the outside and picks up two anyway. Oh, great footwork uh, by Schaefer just to avoid the defensive line uh, coming through the, the, the front there, and you can see here it's a nice counter play, both guard, guard tackle, tag, tag uh, scheme going, and Schaefer made a nice job. And, got some yards all of his momentum going forward he was at a nice angle with his body but it brings up third down and three Bowman keeps it dives for the first down looks like he got it the officials will say yes move the chain gang that's a lot of jewelry first down for new bremen yeah i like that call and i like i like homan boy he's a good looking player and uh you know six foot 170 pounds and Boy, he just moves well, he's smooth, and uh, both these quarterbacks, what a joy to watch these two tonight. Rarely is the offensive player of the year in the MAC a junior, and David Homan was just that last year. Schaefer to the outside, he's barreling his way towards that pantry pride red zone. Yeah, that's that buck sweep action, both guards pulling, Schaefer running that uh, trail behind those guards and then cutting it up inside, and boy, I tell you, they're starting to get, they're starting to Starting to push cold water around a little bit, Andy. Yeah, they are. There's renewed energy is they're nearing the Lodic, or it's a Lodic Jewelry first down. They're nearing the Pantry Pride red zone right there on the outside of the 20. Homan will keep it again. Look at the lane by Homan, barrels through a defender wow. to the 10. They're the marking at the 12. They're feeling it. They are feeling it, and they're starting to get to some momentum. David Homan falls forward every time he runs the ball. I haven't seen him go backwards today. You can see the fake there, or this is the, the play before that, uh, the buck sweep play, but uh, Schaefer getting yards, and then you'll see Homan uh, on that last play there. But a false start on New Bremen will push them back five yards here on this next second down. And that's kind of the danger of going tempo. Yeah. Sometimes, I mean, it is good, uh, but the reality is is uh, sometimes when you go tempo, you, you know, you get guys moving a little bit. and Just a little twitch. Yep. And that'll get you. So second down. The good thing is it's four down territory. Right. So they, they still have three three chances or three opportunities to make up those yards. Oh, it'll keep it. And he's tackled quickly. Boy, there he is, the spark plug for Coldwater once again, Miles Potcotter. <laughs> he just gets there. And you know, for him, he's a sophomore in, in 
not not size wise, you know, nothing really to speak about. So he's just an excellent football player. You know, finding uh, has a nose for the football, as coaches would say, and you can see that he has a high motor. You can see him out there. He is excited to play football. So third down and seven. Holman on the roll. What a catch! Wow. Boy, he put it right in the bread basket. And it's in a first down. A lot of jewelry first down for New Bremen. Yeah, what a fantastic play. And, and he hooked up there with uh, Hayden Zeller. Zeller's been a nice target for him tonight uh, over the middle early in the game. And then uh, once again here on the out route. And that gives New Bremen a new set of downs inside the red zone here. And they run it inside the five. They are indeed in the pantry fried red zone. So New Bremen knocking on the door here in the final minute of our third quarter, trying to get it within one score. He'll quickly try to run this play. And Holman's following his blockers. He spins, he stops, and then he's in. Touchdown, New Bremen. And they are back in at 27 to 20. Well, just when you thought <laughs> this game may get out of reach, New Bremen has clawed their way back. And now, you know, that, that extra point that was missed by Coldwater, yeah. uh, you know, earlier in the third quarter could come back to get him here. It's a pretty big extra point. Todd Cotter nailed Holman right in the small of the back when he spun into him, but the strength of Holman pressing through into the end zone and now trying to make it a six-point game. It is Schaefer, it's up and it is good. Number three, New Bremen is it within six of number one Coldwater on your Structures Outdoor scoreboard here on WOSN. So the state computer points for Region 28 in Division 7, and Sonia is on top. New Bremen currently fourth, and boy, a win over Coldwater would vault the Cardinals, I would imagine, to the top over Division 5 undefeated powerhouse who's beaten a Division 3 powerhouse in Bell Fountain. Interesting region here, Minster in the mix, Riverside as well. As for Coldwater, in Region 18, Division 5, Liberty Center is on top. Cavaliers in third place. They've got some big points ahead uh, with Versailles of Division 6, Marion Local also Division 6 in their last two weeks. But always fighting for points in Division 5 in a small schools conference like the MAC. But we know once Coldwater's in the playoffs, they're going to be okay. Yeah, they're going to be okay, and that, that region is brutal. Liberty Center and Eastwood. Yep. It's going to be a tough region. you got to go north for some of that action. As Harlemert, another great return. He skips through to the 50. Will anyone catch A.J. Harlemert? Oh, and a cutback and a touchdown for A.J. Harlemert. Wow. I'll tell you, when cold water has needed a momentum shift, it's been A.J. Harlemer. He has made so many special teams plays tonight. And you can see here that he just he just turns it to another level here. And look at the speed, Andy. Down the sideline. Watch this move here. Unreal. What, what a move. <laughs> what a move. In for a touchdown. And, man, that will bring the Coldwater faithful to their feet. We got a penalty? I, I hear the booze from yeah. Coldwater. Yeah. There is a flag at the 38-yard oh line. Wow. Wow. I did not see that flag come out initially. Uh, but the Coldwater faithful are not super happy with that call. Touchdown is off the board. Cavaliers will have it on their own end Oof. as the ball is marked at the 30. Let's see if we can catch it, John, on the home and insurance replay. Well, they might have got a hold right there. Number four. Yeah. Um, throw down. Yep. And I'm not sure it's a hold, you know, and I'm not an official, so. Uh, we do but, need officials, John, <laughs> if you have some extra time. No, my, my, no, <laughs> no thanks. I I would not do well at that job, but uh, but that's that's a tough break for the Cavaliers and really a, a, a lucky for New Bremen. We'll see if that momentum from the kick return can be capitalized on as blasting game keeps it. Gets about three, and that'll bring up second down. So instead of a touchdown, they start at the 30. And Coldwater will try and put a drive together. He's blasting. He's looking over the sideline. What's he? Well, it looks like they might just wait, let it go to the end of the quarter and yep. finish this thing out. All right. Three quarters in the books. You don't want to go anywhere. we got a fantastic fourth quarter ahead. I promise. I'm guessing here on WSN. <laughs> Today's premier sponsor for the Coldwater Cavaliers, the People's Bank. Thanks to the People's Bank for supporting Coldwater football all season long. 
What a third quarter, John. Oh, we wow. thought Coldwater was pulling away, and then all of a sudden, New Bremen scores a couple to get within six, and then Coldwater, we thought, got a touchdown, <laughs> and it's called back. So here we go, fourth quarter. Who knows what will happen? We had it all in the third quarter, so <laughs> I'm really interested in watching this fourth quarter. Glassing game over the middle, complete for a first down. That's another lot of jewelry first down as Durr hauls it in. Curtis Durr, the 5-foot, 10-inch senior. Yeah, a nice play, nice little slant route across the middle, uh, just kind of uh, behind those linebackers, just got it in there, and a nice first down play to pick up the first down for Coldwater. And I think in this situation, Andy, if you're cold water, you're just trying to establish something. You've got the lead, but New Bremen's definitely got the momentum. And, you know, without that, with that penalty now, you've got to get something going here on offense. That was the start of it for sure. Brings up a new set of downs. And blasting game, a designed run to the right side. He's got a little extra speed in this one, and he's got eight yards. And that's what they want to do. Eat up some clock, move the ball. Yeah. Get close to the sticks. Yeah, you know, and, and I think that's why we're seeing Holman. We're seeing a lot of blasting game right now because yep. – these, these are their key players. They're the guys that they're seniors who, uh, who've just done so much for their teams. And uh, boy, they both have played an outstanding game, but I think you're gonna see a lot of Marcel Blasting game here in the last uh, quarter of play. 10.53 to go in our fourth quarter. Coldwater trying to stay on top of the Mac. New Bremen trying to keep in the Mac race. Only Marion Local and Coldwater entering action tonight unbeaten. And what a slide for Blossom game, and nobody's going to touch number five. Touchdown, Marcel Blossom game. 52 yards and a touchdown. You said it just a minute ago. You said, boy, he looked like he like they had an extra step or an extra gear. I can't remember what, how you said it, Andy, but you see it happen right there. I mean, boom, he gets into that second level, and there's no one catching him. And, boy, what a fantastic play by Marcel Blossom game. And he is fired up on senior night. Gives Coldwater the 33-21 lead. Will they just kick the extra point here? Or will they go for two? I think you got to go for two. I, I really do. Um, you know, coaches typically have a little cheat sheet with them that tells you should we go for two or not. And um, it looks like uh, Coach Otten's going to elect to go for go for it here. Chip Otten retired in March so that he could start football in July. He did the 60 <laughs> days away from the school when you retire before you're allowed to come back. And he's doing a great job again. Nice pass to the corner. Two-point conversion is good for the Cavaliers. Yeah, A.J. Harlemer did a good job of getting open, coming back to the football, and that makes up for that extra point that was missed earlier. And now the the Cavaliers have a true two-score lead. I want to remind you the touchdown tonight presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. Coldwater number one in the state, leading by 14 here in the fourth quarter on WOSM. There he is. <laughs> Well, you know, the uh, our, our highly paid statistician, Nathan Lynch, did a, he went on a, a treasure hunt. We have a report. Yes. <laughs> the Among Us character with, <laughs> with what, Nathan? A venom mouth. Okay. So a little. <laughs> I'm glad that we sent a teenager out because I would not have known that, you know. I still don't know what that means. But well, he's not quite a teenager <laughs> yet. But just two months away. Preteen. Yeah. But thank you to Nathan for <laughs> what that is. Hey, hey, they're playing football, John. Oh, yes, that? yes. That's right. There is a game. <laughs> New Bremen football. There's plenty of time. Down two scores. We've seen them move quickly. There's got to be a little bit of urgency, but, but don't do anything outside of what you do as a football team, right? No. One score here puts you back in within a score, within a with one, one touchdown. So I think you just stay with the game plan and here. they do just that. Look at Schaefer. At first, it looks like he's not going to get any yards. All of a sudden, he's on the 45-yard line, a nine-yard pickup. And patience, you know, waiting for the play to open, waiting for the hole to open. You know, sometimes, you know, as a coach, you, you teach your kids to, when you run plays to, to hit the hole as fast as you can. And then there's other plays that you say you got to wait for it to develop, and that's what Schaefer did. He just waited for the blocks to happen and waited for the kick out and waited for the lead through and then was able to pick up a nice chunk of yards. So your home and insurance replay there of him sauntering his way up near midfield. Schaefer gets the call again, spin move. He's not going to get the first down, wrapped up by two Cavalier linemen. Boy, what a fantastic job by the 
the Cavaliers there, big number 72 in the middle. Evan Homan. Yeah, Homan just, he's had a nice game. He's been really active uh, down front or in front, uh, playing that nose guard position uh, from that one technique to, and really been beaten on the center tonight. Will Fox also in on the action as New Bremen snaps it. Nolan Cunning, the center. Nice bounce out by Schaefer. He's going to get positive yardage and a first down. We'll move the chains with another Loddick jewelry first down. And that's exactly what New Bremen needed. Uh, you know, and I don't think they have to take a shot downfield, but they have run the ball quite a bit. It seems like they've really uh, been, most of their yards been coming on the ground. Here comes that tempo again. Throw out the team in. Two men to beat, he beats them both. It's a seven yard pickup and across midfield of the New Bremen Cardinals. I like that play call, it's quick. Uh, they got to the line, got set, got the ball out there to team in quick. He made a nice move, um, was able to pick up really good yardage on first down. No time for a home and replay now as New Bremen is flying once again. There's the counter for Schaefer, not much room. And that'll bring up a big third down and short for the Cards. Definitely two down territory. I mean, you're past the 50, you're down two scores. Um, you know, you, you have an opportunity here to get a first down, so you definitely are thinking that, uh, you, you know, if you don't get it here, you're going to go for it on fourth down. It definitely has the play call in mind for four down territory. It's going to be a keeper for home, and he almost was tripped up by his own guy, but he does push for the first down. Yeah, that could have been a uh, disaster for New Bremen, but uh, uh, did a great job oh, of keeping man. his feet. And, and not only doing that, but putting his head down and getting a first down. So a lot of jewelry first down on your home and insurance replay. I think there's some confusion on the cold water sideline too. They're sending guys in and sending guys out, and that tempo is really getting to the substitution. Trying to take advantage, team and holds it in inside the 20, and New Bremen has entered the Pantry Pride red zone. Pantry Pride means best quality meats. Best value for your dollar, best service that you can count on. What a great pass over the middle. Yeah, and, and that was there was there was confusion on that sideline. There was uh, guys running in and out, not sure where they needed to be, and they snapped it quick. Hmm. And Aaron Teeman was wide open. What a nice pass by by Holman. There goes Schaefer again inside the 15. So positive pickup on first down. Cardinals doing just what they need, taking little time off the clock and marching down with 7.44 left in our fourth quarter. I don't know how many times in this game, Andy, you kind of thought, well, New Bremen's kind of done. Yeah. And they just respond every single time. And it's been fun to see them come back. Yeah, those 16 seniors, they don't want to lose tonight here in Coldwater. His homeman will keep it himself. He's just going to try and push that pile. <laughs> <file. laughs> Got a yard, maybe. Well, and, and this is where the... Um, you know, it's fourth quarter. Guys are getting tired. You know, both sides are getting tired. And, you know, he runs kind of into a, a wall of guys just trying to push the pile there. And uh, Again, we're going to see a big third down play. Again, it's four down territory, so they have that in mind in the play call. Need two touchdowns to tie this one up. Homan in the shotgun. Team and goes in motion. Ooh. Incomplete. Double coverage by Coldwater. Pass was there, but a hard one to catch. Yeah, it was uh, It was a tight window to fit that ball through, and and especially rolling to his left. And uh, Now you have some substitution on the Coldwater defense as well, and you're going to see a big, big third or fourth down play here. But you're right, Andy. That ball was right where it needed to be and dropped. And This is what MAC football is all about, right? Fourth right down. Here, fourth and seven. New Bremen's been so good on the run, but can you rely on a run play here, fourth and long? I don't think so. You know, unfortunately, you got you to gotta kind of put the ball in David Holman's hand one way or the other, either by him on his feet or throwing the ball. Timeout Cavaliers. They want to talk it over once they've seen the New Bremen personnel. And so we'll step aside as well. A big fourth down coming up next here on WSN. One of my favorite months of the year on the sports calendar, October. So much action going on. So for New Bremen, they finish out with Minster. <laughs> you turn around for playing at Coldwater, then you host your rival, who, oh, by the way, is fighting you for both playoff positioning and MAC positioning. That'll be next week. Then at Delphi St. John's to wrap things up at Stadium Park before the playoffs open the end of October. As for Coldwater, we've talked about it. 
at Versailles down at Whole Field next week. Never an easy place to go. And then they host the undefeated Flyers live here on WOSN on the 21st. Yeah, and I think everybody in the area will have their, their eyes on that game on the 21st with Marion Local, and that game will be right here. Fourth and seven. Owen fakes the handoff, throws over the middle. Is it caught? It looks like it is. Got it. Wow. Perfect pass, John. I'll tell you, what a catch, too. Yep. Uh, Zeller, he's just been the man tonight. Looking inside, uh, when you needed a catch, Hayden Zeller's been there. And really, it's just it's been the same play quite a bit. Touchdown, Cardinals. David Holman he has been himself. the man. Wow. Cardinals within a score. Here's the formation. And they're just going to, he's going to follow his blockers, almost stumbles, dives in. Another rushing touchdown for Holman, and the Cardinals are within eight, 35 27 as Schaefer tries to make it a seven point game, 6.32 to go. And we want to remind you that touchdowns presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider, specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. And that's a beautiful kick. 35 28. New Bremen back within a score. You don't want to go anywhere as this Mac matchup continues here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard, which has been very busy in the second half, sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. So tomorrow on WOSN, you can catch a live football game between Hope and Albion College at 1130. And the Allen East Bluffton football showdown in the Northwest Conference comes your way at 6.30 at night, followed by Ottawa Glandorf and Shawnee around 9 p.m. Busy time of year for all sports. And lots of great football as New Bremen kicks this one off. Schaefer, the squib kick. Cole Waters up, man, picks it up. And he'll get it to the outside. So they kept it out of A.J. Harlemer's hand, which was goal number one, but still a good return. I think that was Kenny Bailey, 33. Yeah, Bailey did a good job. You know, he, he's primarily a blocker uh, on kickoff. So for him to just go ahead and receive that and, and get as many yards as he can, uh, good play. But smart idea by Coach Schmidt and saying, you know what, Harlemer, just, he's just hurt us tonight. Let's just stay away from him. And even if you give up a few yards, uh, in the process, that's okay. Uh, you don't want them to, uh, you don't want the ball in his hands right now. The water cheerleaders showing us all how little coordination the rest of us have just watching <laughs> that, and I'm like out of step. It's very impressive. Here comes Coldwater, 6.28 to go. Cavs, they'll stay aggressive, I assume, John. That's chip out in football. They're not gonna, just going to sit back and try and get a couple yards at a time. Blasting game, trying to get the outside. He runs out of room, and look at New Bremen. Wow. A host of Cardinals, a flock of Cardinals. <laughs> Sack him at the 35. Dylan Bambauer did a fantastic job of running, uh, blasting game down. You've seen that empty set. Like I said earlier, when you see empty sets, you, you primarily see blasting game running the football. And, and Bambauer just pursued from inside out from his linebacker position and made a picture-perfect tackle. And he missed the tackle initially, then grabbed the ankles. What great job sticking with it. And that brings up a second and 14 for Coldwater. 550 and counting on the Cavalier Stadium clock. Blasting game surveys the defense as he lets the play clock run down to one. He will throw it. Nice catch by Jur. And that picks up positive yardage and keeps the clock moving. And the thing I've noticed with New Bream and what they've done defensively, they've really backed off. They're they're a heavy blitz team, um, basing out of their 3-4 defense, and they want you to they want you to they, they don't want you to guess, or they want to guess uh, who's going to blitz, and, and they want to keep the, the offense guessing to see who that is. And they've kind of backed off there. They've, they've really played a three-man front, just bringing three, and kind of made their coverage uh, out there make plays. Last well, the game again, letting the play clock run down, this time to nine. He'll keep it. He dances his way past the 45, but the Cardinals stop him there, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, this will be an interesting play call because you're not past the 50. It's a tight game. Do you punt? Yeah, Do you go punt for it? On, John. Yeah. And so Coach Otten showing a lot of uh, belief in his defense right now that they can make a stop here on this uh, what could potentially be the final drive of the game for the Cardinals. Wow. What a contest tonight between these two MAC heavyweights. State champs two seasons ago. Coldwater made it to the state final last year. Both teams seem poised for deep tournament runs, but they're not ready for that. They want a MAC title. 
before that all is said and done is Kopp will punt it high into the air. Again, short, but a beautiful punt. Yeah, and he's going to get a great roll. He will, inside the 20 to the 15, where Coldwater will touch it down with 4-10 remaining in regulation. Well, here we go, Andy. You know, when you do games and uh, you go to a game as a fan, this is what you want to see. You want to see uh, it come down to the final drive and, uh, you know, the team that's uh, down have the ball. And uh, it's, been, it's been a pleasure watching these two teams play tonight. Two well-coached teams. And here comes David Holman and his new Bremen Cardinals. Trying to drive for the score. Bobbled snap. He's going to be able to push forward for a couple. Nice recovery by the senior. Yeah, I don't know if it was a bad snap or maybe he just, you know, started, you know, running before the ball actually got to him. But you can see it, it was almost a disaster. He did a great job and was still able to pick up a couple yards, put themselves in a good position here. And the Cavalier down, so New Bremen will walk over to its sideline. And we want to tell you about the John Reed Leadership Award. We are accepting nominations for this high esteemed award. Nominate coaches who exemplify Christian character, humility, discipline, mentorship, leadership, commitment to others, and excellence on the field. Nominations can be made at WOSN.TV slash John Reed. Boy, my conversations with John Reed were some of my favorites when I was here in West Central Ohio. Uh, always a stoic man, always calculated and always a love for others that exuded uh, the excellence of John Reed and it's been cool to see WOSN continue that award. We'd love to hear your stories as David Holman trying to write his own story tonight across the 25 yard line. Looks like it's going to be enough for a lot of jewelry first down. What a great play. That second effort there, that cutback of, of making those yards and grinding this out. Every yard, every second is vital right now and now you're going to see a uh, New Bremen hustle to the line and run this next play. He's looking downfield to pass, snaps it off. A little high for team and then he's hit. Incompletion does stop the clock, and so they can get a breath with 3.15 to go. You know, that's, that's a good play, and that's a good ball. It's, it was a tough catch, but I think it was a catchable ball. Um, but uh, Holman, boy, he just he does everything right. And uh, looking for one of his favorite targets, uh, Aaron Teeman. And, uh, you know, don't be shocked, Andy, to see them come back to that same play. Two men to the top, one to the bottom of your screen. There's the counter to Schaefer. Wyman runs down. Schaefer has to get out of the way of him. And he ends up only picking up a yard. Yeah, and he could have lost three yards. So, you know, he kind of shifts his feet right Look there. Look at that. Some ballroom dancing class. Yeah, absolutely. He is shifty, <laughs> I'll tell you what. So here we go, third and ten. Cards need a big play. It's tipped. It's intercepted. Picked off by Coldwater number two, Blake Busher, the senior on senior night, and the Cavaliers take over in New Bremen's territory. And the tip is what caused it because Hayden Zeller was wide open, and the tip by the linebacker across the, the middle. Sophomore again, pot cutter. Pot cutter. Got him. He's been in on all the big plays defensively, it seems like, John. Yeah, he has. He's been all over the place and impressive and just uh, making plays on defense, and he made his biggest play right there to kind of seal this win for the uh, Coldwater Cavaliers. Still three timeouts for New Bremen. We'll see how they use those here in this final 246 as blasting game awaits the play call. And now he will put his two to the top, two to the bottom. Standing at his hip is Jack Evan, who has two touchdowns rushing on the night as well. Blasting game, I have a feeling it's not coming out of his hands. <laughs> no, <laughs> not at this point. Definitely not throwing the ball, but definitely, you know, why even hand it off? It's a, it's a great time to just run him yep. until this game is over with. You got a couple. New Bremen spends its first timeout with 2.41 to play. And the Cardinals just need, they're going to huddle up and try and get two more stops. Well, and if you're Coldwater, too, you know, um, New Bremen knows they're probably not going to throw the ball. So, you know, you're in a situation where you're playing this uh, run the ball timeout game. Um, I think you still, you know, I mean, this is not rocket science. You want to get a first down. Sure. So you can't approach it from the standpoint of we just need to run the clock out. You kind of have to be aggressive. And, you know, I, I don't think they'll throw the ball, but I think even, even in your play calling, you got to be aggressive. What a night it's been here at Coldwater as we take a look at Sunday's schedule on WOSN. Brian taking on Evergreen. That'll be at 1 o'clock. And we 
we've got St. Henry and Ottawa Glandor Volleyball, a couple of state-ranked powerhouses there. That'll be Sunday night for you, and then Tuesday at 8 p.m., Stryker and Brian taking on each other in volleyball as we range all over Northwest Ohio, bringing you the best local sports coverage. Second and seven for the Cavaliers, blasting game. He'll cut it back, looking for any room to run. Does gain a couple. Eh, maybe just a yard as New Bremen, they were stout. They didn't They didn't bite on the fake. No, and they're, and they're sound up front especially. Uh, some, some great uh, penetration that they're getting up front. And, uh, they're doing a great job keeping blasting game in front of them. And, you know, this game is, you know, just when you think it's over every single time or right. something's done, here comes New Bremen making stops. That was Marcus Spielman, number 68, who applied the pressure initially, and then Dylan Baumbauer, the six foot one inch senior, getting the tackle as we look ahead to next week. More state ranked volleyball. First, Tiffin Calvert against Liberty Benton, Wednesday at 8 p.m., and then Friday at 3 30. Lipsick and Liberty Benton in a big showdown, followed by some soccer, Bluffton and Kaleida at 5 p.m. Friday night. Of course, check WOSN.TV for. All the action, all the scores, all the fun. Your structure outdoor scoreboard tells the story. 35-28, Coldwater, big third and six here. Will the Cavaliers throw it? Can they get a first down? Is it four down territory at the 35? Oof. Blasting game. He will throw it. Did it hit the ground? It did. It bounced. Wow. Great effort by Evan Harlemer to pull it in. Officials say it bounced. Harlem yeah. <laughs> he doesn't think so. No. Um, you know, and I think, I think, you know, you Boy, can say. look at that angle. What? Yeah, that's tough. Hmm. We, yeah. we can't call New York to find out what, what, the, <laughs> what, the, what, the, what the real call is I think is my there, son's the replay <laughs> official. Yes. Nathan, what do you think after <laughs> looking at this? There's as much as we can see on your home and insurance replay. Ooh. That is very close. Yeah. Cold water's going to go for it. Yep. I, I like the pass play call, though, in that last play. I like the aggressiveness by Coach Otten. Yep. New Bremen still with one timeout, but if Coldwater can get a first down, that might wrap it up. Here comes New Bremen free, a little dump off, and it's not going to be first down yardage. So the New Bremen Cardinals hold on fourth down, and they get another shot, John. And one more look on our home insurance replay of that. It was ruled an incompletion. It does. Oh, boy, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, we, these are officials on the field trying to trying to see it in real time, and we yeah. can't tell in the slow motion <laughs> no, replay. No, not at all. What a great effort by Harlem, yeah. though. Yeah, absolutely. Coldwater defense came up big last time with the interception. Can they hold New Bremen again with 2.24 to go? Holman looking, fakes it. Oh, my. <laughs> He pulls it down, then fires into double coverage. It's caught. New Bremen has it around the 44-yard line. That's Dylan Bambauer, who's been everywhere on defense. Yep. And David Holman, I, I think that was about his third read, and he faked me out and faked the, the lineman out as well. Looks like Ben Roethlisberger with those sure pump did. fakes. Strong yes. hands. <laughs> you would say that as a Steelers fan, wouldn't you? We are still fans. Holman <laughs> up the middle. That's going to take some time off the clock as he picks up three. And it becomes second down. Wanted, wanted to remind you that that was a Lodix Jewelry first down. Your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater and Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. So they're resetting a clock here, or they're just raising the roof. <laughs> I always thought a dome would look cool over the stadium. Yeah. I can't tell these jokes very often, so I'm trying to get them all out. Get them all out yeah. in one night. <laughs> Holman over the middle. Inter oh, oh it's in and out of the hands of the Cavalier defender. Wow, what a great, fantastic, uh, or what a great play there. John Mullenkamp knocks it down. Mullenkamp read it well. Yeah, he did. You know, <laughs> Holman felt the pressure. He sure did. That was Kalp, the, the kicker, bringing the pressure on the mm -hmm. side. So and, he, and he had Teeman. Teeman was there. I just think he... Uh, he threw kind of a bullet instead of throwing it kind of, you know, like a deep pass. Mm -hmm. um, but Mullenkamp did a great job of reading that. Third and seven for the New Bremen Cardinals. David Holman in the shotgun. He releases the running back. He's rolling. 
He will dump it off to Schaefer. Cross midfield, nice play call to the 40. It's a first down, another Lodix Jewelry. First down for New Bremen. No, I like that play call too because Schaefer, you know, he kind of looked like a guy that they were going to screen to him, but then he ran upfield, and that's when they, they completed the pass. He'll go the other side now. Again, it's a pass to the outside. Just sailed a little bit on team in and out of his reach. And they haven't stopped. I mean, they are hustling to the line, and they're getting plays the off. The endurance of this New Bremen team is incredible. Here's your home and insurance replay two plays ago to Schaefer. Yeah, and you, I just like how he falls forward and, and gets that first down and gets his body in position. And New Bremen's got a lot of guys playing both ways, so I give them a ton of credit for playing this hard deep into the game. Minute 29 to go. Holman, quick out. Catch is made inside the 40. That time it's Ben Saylor, 6'1", senior. But it's still third and long. And they're trying to surprise Coldwater to see if they could catch him there. And, uh, great defensive stop, oh boy. Holman stumbles, the clock continues to run. It's fourth down for New Bremen. New Bremen does have one timeout left, but they're taking their time here. It's gonna be fourth and long, John. Yeah, and it was a good snap. It just kind of got tangled, his feet kind of got tangled up a little bit. and uh, You know, and that's unfortunate because he's played such a great game, but it's gonna put him in a fourth and 15, Andy. So it's really, I'll, t I'll say this much. Every time I've said <laughs> the game is over, uh, Coldwater sealed the deal. I've said that about three times now. Uh, New Bremen has uh, proved me wrong. So don't be shocked to see them come up with something here. We'll take a look at more schedule for next week. 6.45 p.m., Wauseon and Archbold will be live on WOSN. And then at 10 o'clock, of course, Sports Report, followed by the Cavaliers making the trip to Versailles. So these last three weeks of the regular season, all cold water, all the time on WOSN. And then here's our football slate along with that game next week. You'll see Lipsick Allen East, our WTLW game of the week, followed by Toledo St. John's and Finley at 6.30 p.m. on Saturday. And then Minster New Bremen, the backyard rivals of Ockley's County tangle with the winner getting pies at McDonald's all night long <laughs> on Route 66. That's not true. <laughs> but it should be. That's good uh, false advertising there, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving town after this. I can get away with it. What a night it's been here in Coldwater, New Bremen. Fourth down and 15. Trying to prolong the game and keep their hopes alive. There's one fake. He's in trouble. Holman does escape trouble. He heaves it downfield. Tips and incomplete. Coldwater will take over on downs. Well, I'll tell you. What a fantastic job by Holman to, to, to even get in that position to make that play. And it it just fell between the hands of the receiver and Coldwater now can kind of breathe a sigh of relief here. One time, or no timeouts remaining for New Bremen. So it's a formality at this point as you look at the Coldwater faithful. Very excited. And the Cavaliers will call timeout here. What's Chip Otten want to say to his team, John? I think he's just probably wanting to get, you know, all 11 guys on the field, number one. <laughs> uh, you know, because <laughs> when you when you kind of – and you can see him, he's kind of getting after him a little bit. Uh, I, I think it's, it's not a bad idea to kind of say, hey, we need to we need to get practice our victory formation here, or we've practiced our victory formation. We need to get ourselves under control here, not make a big mistake, and make sure that we get out of here with a win, it, you know. He's seen Col uh, New Bremen battle, battle, battle. So it's, uh, it's important for him to make sure he gets that taken care of. Here's your AP poll for this past week. Division three, Wapak and Bell Fountain. The Chieftains, of course, only lost to this Coldwater Cavalier team. They're ranked in Division three. Van Wert, number six in Division four. And then the Cavs and Liberty Center, you mentioned it, John, both in the same region along with Eastwood. All state ranked in Division five, of course, D6, Marion Local. Carry and Versailles, Flyers and Tigers looking for repeat state champions. And you saw Division 7, lots of local teams as well as they will kneel this one down. They'll have to do it probably one more time. And then Coldwater will move to 8-0 and on the season. New Bremen, we were talking in the break, John, but 
Six and two New Bremen. There aren't many Division Seven teams that can put up a fight. We'll see how Minster does next week. Another D yeah. seven foe. Yeah, if you're New Bremen, you know there's no moral victories. I understand that, but boy, they've just put together a, a fantastic game, and yeah. there's no reason to hang their heads. They've done an outstanding job, and you know the telltale sign tonight was just that they kept fighting back. They kept fighting back, and like you said, Andy, when you get into the playoffs and you start playing Division Seven teams, and you've you've matched up against this Division Five team, uh, it's impressive. He'll snap it, and Coldwater moves to 8-0 with a 35-28 thrilling victory over their Mac rival, New Bremen, here tonight. When we return, we will go over some postseason accolades as Coldwater remains atop the Mac here on WSN. On the field at Coldwater, a Cavalier victory tonight. Coach Chip Otten, this feels like 2008 Andy's antics. Here we are again, and what a victory for your Coldwater Cavaliers tonight. New Bremen just kept fighting back. They wouldn't give up tonight. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good team with some good, really good players. Very, very um, good matchup of all kinds of skill guys. Of course, the, the two quarterback matchups, same numbers, same build, same skills. Just uh, an, an exciting game. Um, we need to have you keep coming to these games, Andy. Make them exciting. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that, but you guys made it exciting tonight. Just just talk about the way that your lines kept putting on pressure, especially that last drive down the field. I mean, you pushed New Bremen back. You really made them force the effort on that fourth down play. Yeah, um, you know, you, you, we didn't we didn't get a couple first downs after. You know, we didn't get any first downs those last couple drives, and they did a good job. And they went to some hurry up offense, which which kind of kind of made it a little more difficult. But but uh, like you said, we got some pressure and. And, uh, you know, you just, just keep playing. Next play, next play, next play. And, and uh, our guys made some plays. Our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight, a sophomore, Miles Potcutter. He made some big plays on defense, tipped the interception there in that fourth quarter. Just has a nose for the football team. Oh, no, no question. And, and uh, we call him the unblockable man. He's a, he's a scout team linebacker for us. And, uh, gosh, every, every practice. We can't block Miles. Where's Miles? Yep, it was Miles. It was Miles. Uh, he's our long snapper, too. Um, we had a couple injuries early, so he stepped in and did that. So good, good for Miles. That's that's fun. Um, so good, good for him. Talking to Jason Hemelgarn before, and he said, with the death of a couple great baseball coaches, a couple great men, Brian Harlem, and Lou Brunswick, these past few months, this community has rallied together, and you really realized what's important in life. Just kind of talk about what that's felt like around cold water. Yeah, it was a, obviously a, a you know tough tough couple weeks, especially with Evan and and uh, Brian's uh, nephews. Uh, playing for us. Um, that's kind of what we do around around here, and, and I'm sure New Bremen and Marion and St. Henry, you know, very, very, very tight, tight families that like to help each other. And we had dad's night in the locker room, and we talked about, you know, this is this is your night, seniors, to to thank your mom and dad and appreciate them, and and all that gets tied into, uh, you know, with, with Lou and, and Harley. Great to see you again, Chip. Congratulations good on a good, good win. You, yep, you bet. You. Yep. yep. Chip Otten, the head coach of the Coldwater Cavaliers. John Zerby will go to that Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. <laughs> I like the nicknames he had for him. Isn't that oh, great? And, you know, tell you what, I love what Coach Otten said. He's a scout team linebacker. Man. Gets in there and he just makes it play after play after play as a nose for the football. Mm -hmm. I love the way that Coach described him. You know, that he's an unblockable guy in practice. <laughs> and it tells you a lot about him. And he made several big plays tonight. But, uh, but hats off to New Bremen. They did a fantastic job, but we've seen a great game, Andy. And it was great to have you back in uh, West you. Central Ohio and yeah. have you around. And, uh, boy, you got to see a good one. It was. Coldwater victorious. They moved 8-0 with a 35-28 victory here on Senior Night. Miles Potcutter, our Stolly Hustle Award winner. And as always, check out Sports Report every Friday at 10 for all the highlights. For John Zerby, for our great crew, my name is Andy Lynch. We'll see you next time on WSN.